people are starting to arrive now. Hello, welcome everyone. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hi. dears. Welcome, welcome. Well done for being on time. We'll wait a few more minutes for everybody else. How are you all doing? Good. Good. Excellent. Yeah, good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. A whole room full of good. I'm very well, thank you very much. The sun has been shining, and I actually went for a walk today with my husband, and we both were wearing shorts. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Is it that warm? <laughs> no, it isn't. It isn't that warm, but the sun was out, so we got our legs out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know in Ireland you know people wear the shorts even it's uh, zero degrees outside yeah. in hat sure in hat and in shorts yeah yeah did you uh, get a nice he, tan oh, pardon did you get a nice tan I hope so I haven't checked yeah. my kneecaps yet but I'm assuming I will have a glorious golden hue uh <laughs> in a matter of minutes um I normally get freckly knees or freckles in the sunshine so I'm looking forward to to that happening again <laughs> but it was nice it was very refreshing um we have else? a different room today a different room yeah the background is different. oh me oh right god yeah i'm in my bedroom still but it's like the bit by the door in our wardrobe so my office is our bedroom and james gets the the living room but yeah sometimes we switch it up just to mix it up a little bit depending on schedules but I've got more calls today, so I've been in the bedroom so he can cook food and stuff while he's in the kitchen. <laughs> we only have a one bed flat, so um, yeah, it's a constant juggle. A constant Is it our James, so it's another James? No, not that James, no. <laughs> that was a bit, not that James. Ooh, no, he's not <laughs> yeah. oh, no, not that one, a different one. <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch that back. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, my husband. Recording is in the process. Pardon? Pro sorry, uh, recording is in the progress. A re the record, yes, the recording yeah. is in progress. I know. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't tell him to watch this one back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely! Right, we're three minutes in. I don't like waiting for people, so we're going to get started. Um, warm up as usual, darlings. That's what we're here for. Um, I'm going to stand because I'm freezing now. Um, and I have actually got a hot water bottle with me, even though I've said how sunny it is and that I was wearing shorts earlier. The sun is setting and it is now cold again. So we're just going to do a little warm up. If you want to get on your feet, please do. If you want to stay sat down, that's fine. Just make sure that your hips are square on the chair and your feet are flat on the floor. But if you are standing, well done. Join the, the stood brigade, brigade. Let's just have a little shake off, first of all. And a nice long out breath. Like a nice big sigh at the end of a long day. Kudos to all of you. You're doing more work on a, on a, what day is it today? Tuesday. After a long day of work, I'm sure. Yes, let's have a wiggle. Oh, just check in with everything. Beautiful. Let's do some shoulder rolls first of all. So up to the ears and then back and down. So we're kind of always going forward and up and then back and down that way just to open up that chest and that rib cage. And remember to breathe. Do it at your own pace if you want to breathe in and out on nice long in and exhalations feel free but just have a little wake up of those ribs and as you reach up really do try and feel those ribs under here lifting with you and moving with you as you breathe in and out good good let that go have a little wiggle we'll do that again and we will introduce the elbows i'll show you what i mean in a minute so we'll just breathe in bring those shoulders up to our ears feel those ribs lifting up and out good and on the exhale Feel those ribs collapse again and that shoulder, those shoulders fall to the ground. Breathing in. All in unison now. One more. And out. And now we're going to introduce the elbows. So bring those elbows up with the shoulders. Good. And let those arms flow. Keep going in your own time while I let more people in the room. Here they come, thick and fast. There we go. Breathing in. Elbows and out. Down, breathe in, elbows and out, down, breathing in. Join in as you're joining in, thank you, welcome. And then now we're just gonna reach all the way up 
to the sky, breathing in. And let those arms float down like beautiful butterfly wings. And we'll breathe in. And out. And if you are stood up and you want to bring your knees into play, why not? Yeah, in and out. And again. Ribs expanding. Nice long breath. And one more. Let's hold it at the top. Hold that breath. Stay there. Reach up. Keep going. Good. Observation. Well done. And float those arms down. Good. Should feel nice and warm and a bit loosey-goosey in those shoulders. Have a little shake. Let your breath return to normal. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me just double check. I haven't got anyone else waiting in the room anywhere. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let that breath come back to normal, guys. Lovely. Can't see anyone else in the room. So I think we are all gravy, baby. Uh, lovely. Let's do now some tongue circles. Still stay standing up if you are stood up, but if you are sat down, that's also fine. Like I said, we're just going to do six tongue circles one way, six the other, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. We'll skip five today. So let's have a go. In your own time, remember to breathe and try and not let anywhere lock out with tension. Keep everything loosey-goosey for me. Good. Let's go. In your own time. Good. Feel the burn, baby. <laughs> Remember to breathe. Good job, nearly there. Oh. Well done, everyone. Keep going if you're still going. If you are done, though, give your neck a little massage. And again, when we're massaging, try not to bring those shoulders up. See if you can keep everything nice and heavy. We're only engaging what needs to be engaged to complete the activity at hand. Good. Lovely. Get those fingertips nice and massage around that spine. Good, 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 good. Lovely. And then just gently with your hands cupped slightly, let's just give our neck and shoulders just a little pat. Again, just a little massage. We're not knocking the life out of us, guys. Just a gentle little pat <laughs> around there. Good. And let's just give our little uh, chest a pat on one side, opposite shoulder to the hand you're using. Good. You might want to kind of come around this area. Just waking it up, giving it a little massage. Good. Let that arm release and then we'll swap. Give the other side a little pat. This is a really nice gentle thing you can do just to kind of give yourself a little massage and let those muscles get a little bit of, um, well, yeah, a bit of love really. After a long, long day. Good. And just shake that off. <sighs> Lovely jubbly guys. Let's do tongue hook then. So imagine there is a hook on the end of your tongue. And if you are stood up, again, get your whole body involved. If you are sat down, just try and get your body involved. See what you can do. Imagine there's a string attached to a hook on the end of your tongue. We're going to pull it out and introduce some sounds straight away. Follow my lead. <laughs> crazy eyes, crazy faces. Let's do it. <laughs> Give me those crazy eyes, guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Insane. Oh, uh, 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 make those crazy sounds as well. Good. Uh, one more. Uh, good. Woo. Let that go. <laughs> Clean yourself up. Lovely, lovely. <laughs> I do love that one. Makes me very, very happy. Let's now do pucker smiling, but we're going to add an extra layer in there. In fact, I will sit down just so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Um, so we're going to, we did pucker smiling before, didn't we? Which is pucker smiling. Simple, two stages. I want us to go a little bit more in depth with this now, guys. So I want us to pucker. Then I want us to sucker like this. <laughs> Like a, a tentacle, you know what I mean? Like one of those suckery things or one of those suckery things you put on the window on the car. Good, we've all got that. So let's go from the top, pucker, sucker, smile, sucker, pucker. 
<laughs> so now we've got kind of three stages, yeah? Pucker, sucker, smile, sucker, pucker. Okay? <laughs> so do that in your own time or follow my lead. Let's start with puckering, suckering, smiling, suckering, puckering. And now let's just do that in our own time and try and make sure we're not just rushing it and going. We want to make sure we get each bit done nice and clearly. Good. Good. Keep going. I'm watching you. <laughs> I think Anya's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Anya was just like this the whole time. <laughs> Go on, Anya, I'm watching you. Give me your give me your pucker sucker smile, please. Sucker. Yeah, that's the one. Good. Well done, guys. Let that go. Let's give ourselves a nice little jaw release now. So just imagine you've been at the dentist and they've made you all numb. Oh, everything's really heavy. Oh. Use that out breath. Oh, nice and gentle, yeah. Let the fingers encourage that to us. And when you get there, just hang there for a little bit. Everything nice and heavy. Can you do that for me, Alina? Let that jaw hang heavy. Yeah, nice. Excellent. Have a little shake there, like a wet dog. Uh, uh, a dog with his head out the window. Uh. <laughs> Yes, guys. Excellent. Love it. Crazy exercises. Tick, tick, tick. Now we're going to do a bit of articulation. Um, Again, forgive me. I teach so many of these workshops. I forget what I've done with whom, but we're going to do something um, bread and buttery. We've kind of, have we done the bread and butter thing before? That sort of stuff. Have we done that yet, guys? Excellent. Woohoo. First time. So I'm just going to highlight and copy in the chat um, the phonetics for what we're about to do. We're just going to take it one step at a time. So don't worry if it's a bit confusing. I will explain it. Uh, there we go. So we're going to start on voiced and we're just going to focus on three, well, six sounds that we're going to make, consonant sounds we're going to make and shapes we're going to make. But we're going to start first of all voiced with three. And the first three sounds we're going to make are b, d, and g. Can you see that up there, that first line? Voiced, B, D, G, times three, okay? Now, what I want us to imagine when we're doing this, or not imagine, I want you to really focus on feeling where you're making each sound. So to make the B sound, it starts at the front of the mouth with the lips, yeah? B, 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 yeah? Can you all feel that? That's where the B begins, on the lips, love it. Uh, then we're gonna make the D sound, which is when the tongue connects with the hard palate-y bit up here, alveolar ridge. And makes the D sound. So let's just go da da da. Can you all do that? Yeah. Can you feel that connection? Tongue and behind the teeth. Excellent. And then we're going to do a g g g g for great and good. You were all very good when you arrived today. <laughs> when I asked how you were, you all said good. So let's just do that. G g g. Nice and gentle. Not too much effort. Everyone feel that at the back of the throat? Yeah, excellent. That's the vocal folds hitting together and tapping together to make that sound. So what we're going to do is just drill it. And I want you to picture, and you can use your finger if it helps. And I'm turning on the side on my profile just so you can see what I'm visualizing and where I can feel each sound being made. But we're very simply going to drill it three times. B, D, G, B, D, G, B, D, G. Can you all see and hear what I'm doing and why I'm doing my finger where I'm doing my finger? Does that make sense? Good. I want you to practice that now in your own time. We'll all do it together. No rush, nice and slow. And again, in terms of effort levels and trying to make it happen, let's just keep it chill. Level three out of 10. We're not trying to be loud or intense. We're just twigging onto where each sound is being made. Okay, so let's just do that nice and slowly. Follow my lead. B, D, G, B, D, G, B, D, G. Everyone happy with that? Can you feel that connection kind of traveling backwards as we start the cycle? Excellent. We're going to move on now and we're going to do exactly the same thing, but the other way. So we're going to start at the G, middle D again, and then end on the B. Okay, so just follow my lead in your own time, nice and slowly. G, D, B, G, D, B, G, D, B. Ta-da! Everyone happy with that? Excellent. Interesting, isn't it? Why am I getting you to do this? 
just so you can highlight um, or raise your awareness as to where we are sending each sound and where it is being made. The more we get used to um, any activity, right, the easier it becomes. So again, this is just really good practice to get you focusing on, oh, where am I actually, where am I engaging? What is my, my mouth doing when I'm making this shape and this sound? It's really, really useful to do in isolation just for when you come to do you know, real words and real sounds and things. It's just really, really good practice. Good. So we've got some more letters underneath those two exercises we just did. We're going to skip that for now and we're just going to jump to unvoiced, okay? So we've just done B, D and G. That's on voice. We're going to do a voiceless version now using the T, K. So it's simply the same shapes we're making, but it's just the voiceless version of um, those consonants, yeah? Which is P, T and K. Does that make sense what we're doing guys? Everyone happy with those? Yep, excellent. So we're just gonna do exactly the same thing. It might be harder to hear me because it's on the microphone and it is voiceless, um, but in your own time, we're just gonna simply go T, K, okay? And keep it light like a whisper, okay? We're not trying to add any voice in there. Keep it whispery for me. So let's just do it in your own time. Excelente. Well done, guys. Let's do it the other way around now. So starting with the K. K -t -p -k -t -p -t Excellent, guys. Really, really good job. Now we're going to go back to the voice version and we're going to do it. I, I call this like a bread and butter exercise. I to be fair, I can't say that I coined this. This was my voice teacher at drama school. She kind of always did like a bread and butter motion when we did this exercise. And all that is simply is kind of highlighting what our fingers are doing, but using a bit more of a smoother motion. When we think of bread and butter being spread, we do think quite smooth, like, you know, utterly butterly adverts. I don't know if you ever, does anyone know what utterly butterly is? A brand of butter. Okay, excellent. It's a British thing. Um, or Lurpak. Lurpak had a great um TV advert. It was a butter brand, basically. And it had this little cartoon man playing a trombone because it was smooth like butter. Um, so we should picture and think smooth now. We've done those quite staccato, haven't we? We've done it quite militant. Now I want you to kind of think about running it over like butter on a bit of toast. Again, if doing this sort of thing helps with your hand, do it, because I do. And we're just gonna simply jump from one to the other. So let just let me just give you an example, first of all. And you'll see what my hand is doing. I'm imagining this is my lips, tongue, back of my throat, okay? So that's what this hand is. That's the bit of toast. And this is the knife with the butter on it, okay? So follow my, well, watch me first of all, very simply. B, d, g, g, d. B, B, D, G, G, D, B. I can see the pennies dropping there. Do you see what I'm doing, guys? <laughs> We're going B, D, G, G, D, B, B, D, G, G, D, B, B, D, G, G, D, B, B, D, G. Don't have to go that quickly just yet, but it, I've written it all down for you um, on the chat. So if it helps to read that, feel free to read it. Um, but this is really good practice for you. So slowly in your own time, let's see if we can do that using the buttery motion, um, jumping from BDG to GBD, okay? So nice and slow, no rush. B, D, G, G, D, B. B, D, G, G, D, B. B, D, G, G, D, B. Happy? Everyone do it, kind of? Yeah, feeling it? Good. Challenge for you. Speed it up. Let's see how quickly we can do it. Don't worry if it all goes to, to, to pot. Let's just see how quickly we can do it now. A little bit speedier, okay? I'm not doing all of them. I keep stopping when I feel like stopping, but how was that? <laughs> a good challenge, right? <laughs> Getting used to all of this motion. You're like a little... Beautiful, uh, what do you call them? Orchestrator? That's not what they're called, conductor. Um, excellent, well done guys. Let's just try that on unvoiced now. Uh, let's just jump straight down to the version. Um, and as you can see, I have added extra versions where we start at the other end, but you can do that in your own time. And I'll copy this into the, the chat that we've got just so you can do it, like I said, for homework and just keep drilling it and practicing it. So let's start again, we'll go. Okay, so in your own time, nice and slowly to begin with. I say nice and slowly. I hope that is slow enough for you. 
to begin with. You're like a group of beatboxers. Yeah, well done, guys. How was that? Tricky? Interesting? Random? Random, but brilliant. I want you to keep practicing that, guys, for homework. It's just really useful, again, to isolate and know where you're placing these things and how you're making the sounds and the shapes as we go through. So well done. Well done for your patience on that one. We will come back to that probably next time I see you or the time after. Um, but yeah, I'll put that in the chat for you. So you can all practice. Let's leave the warm up there, shall we? Let's crack on with some tongue twisters, yes. So I've tried to keep them themed to a workplace environment kind of uh, chat, I suppose. Um, I am theming this one as a little bit more, um, yeah, work environment conversations that you might have um, for this session. So again, as we go through, some of these things might be applicable, but some of the words you might not have used yet, um, you might actually use in your work environment. I don't know what you will do for a career, but if you've got any questions about anything as we go, do just ask. For now though, let's start with the tongue twisters. We'll do them as a group as usual. And as there is a few fewer of us, we might even have time to do a bit more of the conversations again, which is ideal. So let's do it then. First one, first tongue twister as a group. Pin stripe shirts, pencil skirts. I should probably add an ad and in there. Good guys. And remember, these are tongue twisters. So let's drill these quite precisely to begin with before we go through around individually. Um, and let's add an and in there. I think that works better. Pin stripe shirts and pencil skirts. Can you see how the rhythm is a bit better then? Give it another go. Good. Well done, guys. The next one. This is only applicable, I guess, if you're maybe an athlete and that is your work. But hey, I thought this was quite a good one that I don't think we've done yet. He threw three free throws. Tricky, this one. One more time. He threw three free throws. Good. Well done, guys. Optimistic managers. You can do that one first. And pessimistic supervisors. Thought these words could be a good challenge for you all. One more time. I'll just run through it all now. Optimistic managers and pessimistic supervisors. Hmm. Good, well done. Remember to keep that articulation a little bit crisper than you would if you were saying this in normal conversation. This is an exercise for articulation. Okay, good. Um, the next one, this is quite long as well. So I'll just get to brigadiers first of all. Brisk. Brave brigadiers. Brandished broad, bright blades. Well done. I'll run through it all now in one take. Brisk, brave brigadiers. Brandished broad, bright Blades. I like that one. Good. Well done. Moving on. Again, this is a bit of a long one, so I'll just do it in in uh, up until the comma uh, in this one. But I thought this was quite good, and I'm sure most of us can relate to this one. Um, let me let me give it a go. If practice makes perfect and perfect needs practice. Take it away, guys. You'll go. Bye -bye. 
Just make sure you're muted, guys. If you are just coming in, Lulia, that'd be great. Thank you, darling. Um, on to the next bit. I'm perfectly practiced and practically perfect. <laughs> Great guys, well done. I'll run through that one. It's a bit of a long one, but I think it's quite fun. If practice makes perfect and perfect needs practice, I'm pra oh, I got it wrong. Ha, brilliant, good start. I'm perfectly practiced and practically perfect. It's a long one. <laughs> Woo! Good job, guys. I'm practically perfect. Love it. Very Mary Poppins there. Very Mary Poppins. Um, Good, guys. Well done. On that one as well, actually, you might have noticed, you might not have noticed, but on perfect, it is spelt perfect, but we do often say perfect if it's perfect. So it could be perfect or perfect. And I gave you a bit of both in both those renditions that I gave you, okay? So again, choices to be made. If we're going to casual it up a little bit more, you would say, oh, that's perfect, that. That's perfect. So it's more like a picked sound rather than a, or a ficked sound rather than a fect. Fect sound. <laughs> a bit rude, isn't it? Um, good. Let's pick one and go around individually. Uh, and then we will move on to other bits and bobs. So who would like to go first? Pop your hands up and then I can remove you. Alina's hand was straight up in there. So we're going to go straight to Alina. If I can find my image again, I'll pin myself as well. Hang on a second. Uh, 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 there we go, Alina. Yeah. What do you want to do? I, yeah, I want to. I want to take first one. Yeah. Uh, pins, stripe, shorts, pencil, skirts. Really, really good. Well done. Um, it's this uh, so I really want to work on. Let's say rather than shot, 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 shirts, uh. Can we keep the tongue a little bit higher on the uh sound? So it's like it's lifting a little bit. Shirt. Repeat that. Shirt. 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 Yeah, good. And skirt. Skirt. Good skirt. Good. Careful it's not becoming skirt, skirt, and it's more skirt, ert. Skirt. Mm. Skirt. Skirt. Yeah, better. Well done. Uh, lovely. Can you just say stripe for me again as well? Stripe. Yeah, stripe, stripe. We want to oh. try and avoid stripe, 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 ipe. It's stripe. still kind of like up here, oh. yes, stripe. Stripe. Better. Yeah. Again? Stripe. Good. Stripe, stripe, oh. stripe. Can oh. you try for me? Everyone's coming in now because they know their warm-up's over, don't they? Huh, cheeky. Um, <laughs> let's try um, stripe, stripe, stripe. I'm just trying to think of my jaw movement. Stripe, stripe, stripe. Can we have less jaw action actually on that? So it's not stripe, it's mm -hmm. just stripe. Can you see how I'm just coming down slightly? Yeah, in, uh, do, do I need to put my tongue lower? Like to, to make it, you know, deep, like... I, I. Yeah, okay, I think. Stripe, stripe. Again? Stripe. Yeah, I actually think stripe. So I think you're trying too hard to make the I sound. I. And actually no. it's making you do more than you necessarily need to. So mm -hmm. rather than thinking I. down, can you I. just try and think more forward and up? Stripe, I. Stripe, stripe, stripe. Yeah. Good. And that hand gesture, I think, maybe helped a little bit there. Right. So, yeah, just thinking more throwing it forward rather than having to stripe and really drag it out will help you. Um, try it again for me. Stripe. Again? Stripe. Stripe. Right. Yeah. Good. No, better. It is better. Well done. Can you do the whole tongue twister for me? And again, on each of the stripe and shirts, can you just try and think more forward and up rather than down and Big, yeah. <laughs> I will try. <laughs> Good. Give it a try. Pins, stripes, cuts, pencil. Oh, sorry, sorry. Shirts pins, and skirts. Pins, pins stripes, shots, pencils, cuts. Yeah. Good. Well done. Well done. Stripe. How was stripe feeling? 
uh, difficult because okay. with, uh, our how to call it uh, no okay teacher teacher she's like uh, yes yeah, she's saying to have it like strive strive like it should be deep. And yeah, scout, on the I scout, sound. Scout, yeah, I need to say like scout, scout. Skirt. It's more of an er uh, than a scut, scut. You're kind of, um, scout. we're missing the er uh, sound, like a er, uh, that's disgusting scout. kind of reaction. You know, like a kid might go, na, Nikki, na, na. It's that kind of er uh, that I want in there. And can you see what my lips are doing? Er, uh, it's quite an ugly yeah. shape to make. I'm exaggerating it a little bit. Um, But I think loosening up these lips might be a little bit helpful for you so let's just try can you just copy me and be a bit of a kid and just do that na nikki na na everyone can practice this go on have a go na, nikki, na, na. yeah good 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 see i can see those teeth coming more and can we get more of that sucker lips let's do pucker sucker smiling back to sucker S sucker stay at sucker and give me na nikki na na Na, ninky, na, na. Yeah, good. Well done. Shirt, shirt, t-shirt, shirt. Shirt, shirt, t-shirt, shirt. Yeah, good. Well done. Keep thinking forward. Skirt, skirt, t-skirt, skirt. Skirt, skirt, t-skirt, skirt, skirt. Yeah, good. Well done. I think the lips are helping you get it more and it's actually restricting your jaw movement then. Mm -hmm. And we're not going shirts, shirts, shirts or whatever we were doing. It keeps it a little bit more minute. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Does that make sense what we were doing? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And on that stripe, like, yeah, with certain words, if I'm going, I'm going to the shop, can you see how much shape I'm making there? I'm going to the shop. I am letting my mouth kind of open. No, yeah, maybe if for sing single uh, word, I need to say like a uh, stripe, but if I uh, say it in, in the uh, sentence, like, yeah, it will be like stripe. Right. Yeah, it's a bit, I think it I, as well, I think it is just because it's not, we're not just making the I shape mm -hmm. we are saying stripe so mm -hmm. we are actually yeah. we've got consonants to begin with and a consonants and shapes that we need to make at the ending and they all require different movement in your articulators so mm -hmm. with the stripe it's a closed mouth thing so we can't just go stripe and have our lips already there because it's not going to make the right sound is it um mm -hmm. it becomes un understandable ununderstandable is that even a word yes it is. Why not? Is it? Oh my God. <laughs> Brilliant. Who knows? It, it makes sense. Um. Anyway, so yeah, we just want to, you know, it, it's, it's tricky because I know like certain, with certain things, you might be coached to do it one way, but when we put it in context of a word or a mm -hmm. sentence, like you said, we may, it may need tampering with slightly to make the whole word make sense and those shapes work together. And again, on stripe, like I said, stripe is quite closed mouth. And on the P, I need to close my lips to make the P sound. So again, we're not going to have as much time or space to go stripe. Mm -hmm. Don't need to do that. I'm majorly exaggerating. You weren't doing that, but we don't want to do that. Yeah. So let's just try again. Think through a letterbox. Stripe. Stripe. Better. Yeah. Stripe. Stripe. Yeah. Much better. Much more flexibility and dexterity there. Um, so good. When you're practicing slowly, perhaps allow the shape to elongate a little bit more. But when we're doing it in context and we're removing the exercise element and we're trying to make it sound naturalistic, mm -hmm. we can afford to ease off of it a little bit. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well Thank done. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Alina. Fabulous. Who's next? I can see Olga. Have we got more than one Olga this time? This is Olga. There we are. Hi. Me? Hi. <laughs> Hello. What would you like to work on? Uh, the first one. Yeah, go on then. Uh, in stripe shirts and pencil skirts. Lovely. One more time. In stripe shirts and pencil skirts. Lovely. Well done. First thing I'm going to say is on that pin... Pa, 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 pa. Can you just give me a chopping board? Pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. Yeah, excellent. We want to try and avoid it being too B like, okay? We've got the voiced version, which is B, and the voiceless version, which is, which we actually covered in our warm up today, right? So can you just give me a nice, gentle, whispery, like, hippa, hippa, pa, 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 pa. Pa, 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 pa. Yeah, better. Good. And now let's give me a nice strong voiced ba 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 ba, like we're drummers drumming into battle. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, good. So we've got a clear dif differentiation there, haven't we? Can you feel the difference between the ba 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 and the. 
Yes. Can you give those to me just like that? Ba 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 ba. Ba 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 ba. Delightful. Now, can you say using that pin, 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 pin? Yeah, good. Well done. Well done. Well done. It's tricky as well because we've got that which is voiceless, but then we're coming straight into the voice on the in, aren't we? So let's just break it up. In. Do that for me. In. In again. In. Pin. 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 Yeah, good. Well done. Much better. It's a tiny little detail, but I think it's it's really important because you're not saying pinstripe because that doesn't mean anything. Pinstripe is a thing. We all know what do we all know what a pinstripe is in in clothing? <gasps> do we not know? Is that a real British thing as well? Pinstripes, everyone? Do we know what that is? Do you know what that is, Olga? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I yeah? hear you. Do we know what pinstripes are? I'm going in my wardrobe. I'm going to show you some pinstripes, guys. <laughs> if I can find some, I should have some pinstripes somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. pinstripes. Pinstripes. Can you see? Yes. Very thin little stripes, yes? My Ralph Lauren blouse, don't mind me. Um. That's what I'm talking about there, okay? So again, pin, a pin is quite small and thin, isn't it? So again, when you say pin, I want you to think of small and thin and short and sharp. Pin, pin. Pin, pin. Yeah, much better, well done. Same again when we get to stripe. We've got that nice sound there, okay? So let's just piece that together. Pin, stripe. Pin, stripe. Yeah, much better, much clearer, well done. Um, Can you understand what I was trying to get you to do there? Add a bit more of a p and less of a b in there, yeah? Yes. Yeah, great, excellent, really, really good. Do the whole tongue twister again, and let's see, there's another P in there. Let's see how that one goes, but let's see if we can just get those notes in one more time. Pin stripe shirts and pencil skirts. Yeah, good, well done, well done, good, on the pencil as well, lovely. Uh, I will actually also give you, this is a note for everybody, ears up, Um, pencil, pencil rather than pencil, we rarely say pencil. Where's my pencil? We say pencil. It's a bit more of a schwa in there, okay? So can you just practice more of a, in fact, let me just type it in if that helps. pen -sil? like that? <laughs> rather than pencil. Try that, pencil, pencil. Pencil, pencil. Yeah. Perfect. Lovely jubbly. Well done. Next thing I want to give you, Olga, just as a final note, is just to work on that rhythm. Let's let's forget that it's an exercise now. I want you to just tell me about pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts. There's a sale on pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts around the corner. Yeah. So tell me like it's something you're telling a girlfriend. Pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts. Yeah, good. Well done. Much better, much better. Um, pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts. Can we make the shirts and the skirts now the most important thing? Because they are, we haven't got pinstripe skirts and pencil shirts. No, because a pencil shirt doesn't exist. It's always a pinstripe shirt and a pencil skirt. Can we try and just pluck those out a little bit again, just to muck about with the rhythm a bit more? Pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts. Yeah, lovely, well done, well done, thank you. Um, I think I saw in one of the group chats about rhythm and intonation coming through a little bit. I don't know if you've been working on that with Lilo a little bit more and James of late, intonation and rhythm. Have oh. you all? A little, yeah. Okay, great. Um, again, just stuff to keep playing around with. What's the most important part of that sentence that you want to pluck out? Um, just one more thing as well. Shirts and skirts. Shirts. I think we're doing a bit of extra lip rounding that's actually interfering a little bit on the shirts and skirts. It's a bit more of a suckery action with the lips, not a tight closed one, yeah? So can we just try shirts and let that sh shape release as we get to the shirts, as we open up into that? uh sound does that make sense uh shirts okay good well done and skirts skirts yeah better i think keeping it a bit more neutral is going to help you i think before we were just adding a bit of extra tension in there that was actually restricting us a little bit yeah make sense yes well done any questions no thank you 
You're welcome, Olga. Well done. Lovely. I forgot to ask Alina if she had any questions, but we were kind of doing questions as we went. Have you got any questions, Alina, from your time? No? Excellent. Well done. Um, Zana, please. <clears throat> Um, pinstripe shirts, pencil skirts. Lovely. One more time. Pinstripe shirts, pencil skirts. Excellent. Well done. Lovely. Can we try and break up the intonation a little bit now? Um, so it's less duh, 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 which is all kind of down we go, down we go. Can we lift it again and try and imagine it's just like in a conversation? Um, I'll write a new sentence there. There's a sale on pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts so that we can just try and, again, make it a little bit more natural and conversational. So just give that a go. And again, try and tell me like it's a new piece of information. And you're actually a bit excited about this. There's a sale on pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts. There's a sale on pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts. Yeah, good. Well done. Well done. Say stripe for me. Stripe. 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 Again, similar to what I gave Alina. I don't know if you were um, on when she when I was just going over that with her. Be careful it doesn't become too much stripe. 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 It's quite a minimal movement. Okay. Try again. Stripe. One more time. Stripe. Excellent. And on that S, give me a little bit more S. So we have got the stripe, stripe. Stripe, stripe. Yeah, good. It needs more of a diaphragmatic engagement. This is just a note for all of you guys. I don't know if in the warm up actually, when we were doing the voiceless version, so those, those consonant sounds that don't have any voice behind them, it requires a little bit more effort from your diaphragm to actually make the sound. And on stripe, it's the same kind of thing. We've got the S and the T, which are voiceless. We don't really um, put the vocal folds into play until we get to the right sound yeah stripe we need to get the oomph behind the s and the t simultaneously uh, or equal weight behind both of them i would say so i just say zana that you're shying away from the s a little bit so make sure you've got the stripe 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 yeah good stripe 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 can you imagine as well that we're going under and up as we're saying it stripe Stripe. Let's lift that intonation. Stripe. Excellent. Did you, did you, I don't know if you all saw that. There was like almost like a bit of, oh God, that was exhausting kind of energy coming out of that. I think it needs that much effort and energy from you when you're doing it. Yeah. Um, just to keep it energized in a way that sounds a bit more British um, and a little bit more forward rather than stripe, 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 stripe. We're coming through with the stripes, yeah? So just do the whole tongue twister again. Um, and let's just see if we can get that stripe nice and forward. And again, maybe just thinking, you know, forward and up as you go along. Pin stripe shirts and pencil skirts. Almost like a little nursery rhyme. Da, 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 da. A bit more jovial. Try again. Pin stripe shirts and pencil skirts. Yeah, good. Well done. Lovely. <laughs> um, let's just try <laughs> another little giggle there. Shirts. Just say shirts. Shirts. And skirts? Skirts. Yeah, skirts, shirts, shirts, skirts, skirts. Excellent. So what I'm hearing as well, this is a bit of a complex one. I hope you follow my lead here and understand what I'm saying. When we get to shirts, I feel like on shirts and skirts, your energy is coming through more on the R kind of area of the word. The weight is kind of coming through there a little bit more. Can we try and visually imagine a little bit more energy coming in earlier as soon as we hit the uh sound when we come in with that um yeah uh sound a little bit earlier so it's not shirts and skirts it's shirts and skirts can you hear the difference yeah more energy earlier on in the word shirts skirts yeah good well done you're enjoying the uh sound a little bit more and we're not just mm -hmm. trying to get through the word and i think we need that in those words yeah it's a shirt not a shirt it's a shirt okay yeah. Okay. Hold tongue twister again. Try and enjoy those uh sounds a bit more. One more time. Pinstripe shirts and pencil skirts. Excellent. Really, really good. Well done. One more thing. Pin. 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 Yeah, good. That time it almost sounded like pen stripe. 
So again, just make sure we're being really specific. And I know it's hard when I'm giving you different notes, some things fall short each time, um, but really, really good. Any questions about any of that, Zana? No questions. Thanks. Really good. Lovely. Good job. Asia. <laughs> there we go. It's going to take some to unmute. <laughs> <laughs> Always the way, isn't it? Go on. What do you want to work on? Uh, this killing thing with uh, with, with that sounded consonants, like brisk, brave, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, the B one. <laughs> Oh, okay. Um, brisk, brave brigadiers, brandished, broad, bright blades. Lovely, lovely, broad, bright blades in particular. Um, fabulous. Well done. Try it one more time. Try not to rush the beginning so much. Brisk, brave. It'd take a little inhalation between each word if you need to. I don't mean to rush it. Brisk, brave brigadiers, brandished, broad that slowly i want it okay try again okay um brisk brave brigadiers brandished broad bright blades lovely really really good um brave say brave for me brave 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 good okay rather than thinking brave brave and it kind of coming up here can we think more flat on the horizon brave brave Brave, brave. Good. Enjoy, let's elongate it out a little bit more. Brave, brave. Brave, brave, brave. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Uh, let's just say brisk, brave. Brisk, brave. Yeah, excellent. Brave. There's a nice bit of resonance coming through there. Um, Before, brave, brave. It was kind of coming up here, brave, brave. Brave, brave. Can you hear the difference of what I'm doing? Yes, I think. It's very uh, subtle. I, I can't hear me doing this, but... Uh, yeah. When you're... Let me just try and figure out what you're doing. Brave, 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 brave. I think it's a tongue-lowering thing. I think when we kind of keep the... Uh, when you're doing what I don't want you to do, which is brave, 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 I think it's quite high up here in terms of, terms of where you're sending the energy of the word. But actually, brave, brave. There's like a... I kind of want you to think of being more steadfast in that moment, a bit more grounded and rooted. And as a result, brave, brave. The tip of my tongue is behind my bottom teeth and my tongue is just following the jaw there. Brave. There's a bit more space in my mouth. And I want you to have a little bit more space in your mouth by lowering that tongue a little bit. Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah, so let's just try again. And, and perhaps I think for you, elongating the ave sound is quite helpful. Brave, brave. Brave. Yeah. brave. Good. Say br brave. brisk, brave brigadiers. Brisk, brave brigadiers. Excellent. And don't shy away from that lovely V on brave. To be brave is a noble thing. It's a bold word. And bravery is rarely exemplified in these, these times we live in, right? So let's really enjoy that. Brisk, brave brigadiers. Brisk, brave Brigadiers. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Really relish that V. It's a fun, a fun one to 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 say. Um brandished. Say that for me. Brandished. <laughs> good. Brandished. Brandished. Yeah, okay, good. Can you say the whole tongue twister again, getting brave in? And hopefully having a beautiful brandished like that. Okay. <sighs> good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good guys it's really good asia like you can see asia's given herself a moment to actually like it's really important to do that it's really nice to see that you're doing it asia really do have a shake off and a proper let let go if you need to before you start it <laughs> yeah everyone have a little shake have a little chill it's a safe space we're all learning together um and the more relaxed and released we can come into the work the more likely we are to get it right okay so give it a go well done okay um Brisk, brave brigadiers, brandished, broad, bright blades. Yeah, good. Well done. Really, really good. Lovely. Little extra points I want to give you. Uh, brigadiers was lovely. Um, brandished, brandished, broad. So brandished, there is a kind of dentalized T sound, but it's not quite a D sound like it's spelt, which I feel like you kind of gave me, but be careful it doesn't become too much of a T sound. So it's not brandished, brandished. 
there's still like a dentalized T sound there. Um, it's very subtle and how you did it was fine, but I'm just going to make you aware of it. Okay. However, on broad, you almost gave me a T sound. And on that one in particular, broad, 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 broad are two very different things. And again, think of the meaning of the word. Do you know what, broad, so if someone's broad, do you know what that means? It's not, a, I'm not trying to trick you or anything. I'm just curious. I think not. No, great. Okay, good. So broad, to be broad is to be kind of like wide and st staunch and starch. And it kind of matches. Starch, is that the I word? I was thinking called? about the street. No, we did say that about streets, don't we? Like, like the street is broad. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'd normally say like it's a narrow street rather than like a broad, but then we wouldn't really comment. We'd normally say it's quite wide, I'd suppose. It's a wide street um, or a two-way street if it's quite a wide one. But yeah, you could say broad, like Broadway, right? Um, it's very broad. There's lots of big things about Broadway. It's a bit vast, right? So again, if we're talking about brave soldiers who are briskly brandishing bright swords around... There's some gravitas there, right? And some meat and some groundedness. So when we get to broad, make sure you give me that lovely, um, the richness of the words and that lovely D sound, which is on voice and give me it and don't shy away and give me a T instead. Because it doesn't make sense if they brought, well, it does make sense, but it's not what, they, they didn't just brought bright blades. They have broad bright blades. Can you hear the difference? <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's two different meanings right and in this it's broad so give it another go really really good um and yeah try and get that broad d in there and remember to keep the brandished dentalized at the end as well okay um no, lots. brisk brave brigadiers brandished broad bright blades well done. Good on brandish. Broad, however, became a bit of tea. Still quite tea. And I don't know if it's because you're anticipating the bright tea, but it's broad, bright, blades. We come back to the D in blades. Okay, so let's just try that again. Broad, bright, blades. Broad, d. Is it d? Better, yes. Broad, bright, blades. Yeah, lovely. Well done. Well done. Um, yeah, just make sure you get that D for me, my love. Um, brisk. Can you just say brisk again for me? Brisk. 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 Again? Brisk. 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 Again, I think it's a tongue lowering thing. Can we try it on the I sound? Can we try and enjoy that sound a little bit more than rather than have it, even though it is just a tiny little uh, vowel in there, can we try and enjoy it a bit more? Brisk, brisk, brisk. It isn't brisk enough. Brisk. What might help is enjoying the brisk. Have you ever felt it really cold outside and it's brr cold? Brr. It's the thing we say, isn't it? Brr. Can you enjoy the brr more? Brisk, brisk, brisk. Again. I just said brisk. Yeah, brisk. brisk. I want you to, yeah, enjoy the B and the R a little bit more and get that resonance coming through. So it's not just brisk, brisk, it's brisk, brisk. Can you hear the difference? Yeah. Brisk, 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 brisk. brisk. Try again. Brisk, brisk. Yeah, it's just muscularity, I think, with you, Asia, uh, on just some of those words and making sure that they're just spot on. Um, but everything was lovely. Really, really good. Again, your Brave Brigadiers was really good, um, especially once we worked on Brave a little bit more. Um, and yeah, overall, really, really good. Have you got any questions? Mm. If you said fast, like um, broad, bright, uh, doesn't these sound more, uh, more like D because of the B? Like broad bright and you say it more sounded in uh than when you say them separately so when you say it quicker does the d yeah. in broad sound more like a d sorry um more think? sounded because of the b in bright like broad bright like together. yeah so broad bright broad bright broad bright i'm still making sure i'm even if i'm like smushing them together a little bit broad bright I'm still making sure I get that like D shape in there and I'm not releasing it into a T sound. So yes, I think is the answer to your question. 
and if I'm understanding correctly. Um, is, it, is it easier for you to say faster? No, I don't think it is. And this is the thing, guys, as well. This is a note for everybody. I know we kind of want to have conversational speed um, and, you know, sound like this is our native language and we can speak at speed and we know exactly what we're saying and we can get it all out really easily. Blah, blah, blah. Slow down, especially something like this. If you're talking, like if you were saying this to a friend about these amazing, brave brigadiers who brandished broad, bright blades, you probably would slow it down because you're trying to get them to see what it is that you saw in these people that were soldiers and being all heroic and amazing, yeah? So I, it's not easier to say quicker. It just depends on the context of why you would want to say it quicker. If you didn't care about it, Oh, they had broad, bright blades and they were being dickheads about it. You might want to you might want to ease off of it. Right. But if you're really trying to get the emphasis across of how amazing this was, you're going to slow it down, I think, and articulate it clearer and harder almost to, to get your passion through. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So, again, it's all to do with context, I would say. Um, but yeah in context of that tongue twister and what you're, the words that you're using, they're really nice to play with and they sound almost onomatopoeic and, and, and match how I think you would feel about the, the people you're talking about. So it's about enjoying that and relishing it a little bit more. Make sense? Yeah, sure. Yeah, really, really good. Good question, really good question. I think I understood it and answered it. <laughs> if not, message me privately. <laughs> well done, Lulia, please. <laughs> Uh, hello. Hello. I will try this too difficult for me. Number two. He yep. threw three free throws. Again? He threw three free throws. Yeah, excellent. Really, really good. Well done. Why is it difficult? The. <laughs> the. Excellent. The sound is. <laughs> yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? He threw, threw, three free throws. First of all, this might help you with this one. Thru, thru, that thru sound that we're making, it kind of matches again on a matapaic. It's similar to the word, when you throw something, throw, throw. That word itself sounds like you're throwing something or it can do. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a challenge. First of all, I want you to imagine you're throwing something every time you get to a thru. So I'll demonstrate. He threw three free throws i want you to let your arm kind of go quite quickly try not to hit your laptop or anything break anything but try and use that action with it to literally throw it away a little bit he threw three free throws yeah <laughs> good well done well done um again always helps i think hand gestures and actually thinking does this word sound like the action that i would imagine would accompany it and if it does try it and see if it helps did it feel easier that time or were you not aware because maybe you're focusing on the action more? <laughs> yes, I think I was focusing on action um, on the exactly. probably rumors that my breast is made. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but again, it loosens us up from thinking, oh, what have I got to do and how do I... it gets us in our body and it makes us chill out a little bit more about what it is that we're trying to do. I thought they were really clear then. Um, I thought they were clear to begin with, to be honest, but I also thought they were clear then as well. Um, it's probably just more of a foreign sound to you that that's why it's difficult, but just keep practicing it. And if ever you do feel yourself getting tense about it, loosen it up with your body again and find the fun in throwing the word away um just to help you okay try it okay. one more time without the action now but again try and keep that carefree throwing it away not caring where it lands i did he threw three free throws yeah really really good lovely um yeah fantastic one thing i would say and ask for please is on throws can we try and avoid the throws throws which is really easy to happen but i don't want the tapped r throws 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 better those. yeah but make those. sure you hit the r yes yeah, yeah. so it's not those those throws so once the the tongue has touched the teeth it comes back up behind the teeth to make the r sound so if these are my teeth mm -hmm. we're going throws 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 yeah throws throws <laughs> slow down throws. take a breath throw it away throws throws Good. Well done. Nice. Just need to work on that tap jar, I would say. Try it one more time and now be really amazed that he did. He threw three 
free bows. Like this was amazing. Let's just try and liven it up a little bit and try something else. He threw three free throws. Yeah, good, well done. Good intonation <laughs> change there. Again, just trying to mix it up and get you out of the habit of here through three free throws. Again, are we amazed at this? Or are we upset about this information? Start to put a bit of a, an idea behind it and a context behind it because it will change the intonation and therefore sound more British as you practice it. Um, does that make sense? Yes, yes. Final thing for you on through and throws, I do want a little bit more lip rounding, okay? So through. Through. There we are. Free. Three. So no lip rounding there really, three, is there? Yeah, three, free throws three 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 free for me it's the same i, I don't know i put the, the tongue in between my teeth but i i can hear the same sound i don't know why mm -hmm. three free they're very similar <laughs> but they are different and you are doing it differently <laughs> three 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 free just say three three twice now like 33 three three See my tongue's three, coming out? Three. Again? Three, three. Yeah, okay. And now free, free. Free, free. Yeah, okay, good. So I think just practice both of them. Guys, a note for everybody in normal, normal conversation, we do colloquialize the th sound quite often especially essex girls like me that you know this is my voice but some this is my voice marvel thor um reference there never mind anyway um <laughs> sorry i just made myself laugh um <laughs> moment ago, has anyone seen thor like the marvels thor with chris hemsworth you know that when he's like with chris pratt and guardians of the galaxy and he's like this is my voice like they're kind of mocking each other anyway um i sound like this but sometimes in essex we'll just ham, ham up the ths and make them more of an f like oh thank you thank you for getting me the flowers from we, we keep the f there but it is useful i guess especially for some of you guys who work in like you know professional workplaces and things and you want to sound more british truly to make sure you get the F's and the TH's in there. So it feels probably a little bit tricky, Lulia, basically is what I'm saying, mm -hmm. but I want you to practice isolating and getting them right before you decide to um, uh, make it more casual and bring in the F's when you want. Because I could say he threw free, free froze. I could use F's on all of those, but it doesn't actually help me understand what you're saying. He threw three free throws. Three and free are very different. Um, even though I might say oh, I've got free fish with an F, for now, I want you to really be precise and articulate in both clearly. Make sense? Yes. Good. Um, and good job on the lip rounding. Um, I think it just needs a little bit more lip rounding on where you get the double U's, yeah? Um, mm -hmm. Through and throws. Just needs a little bit more lips involved. Yeah? Okay. Any questions? No, I'm okay. I will process. <laughs> Yes, well done. <laughs> oh, I got very sidetracked with my own joke there. It wasn't even a joke. It was just me laughing at a bit of a film. Um, let's go into with into it with Deanna, please. In the grey hoodie. Hello. Yeah. Brown hair. Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> um, uh, optimistic managers and pessimistic supervisors. Brilliant. Op, not up. Op. op. Optimistic. Op optimistic like oppenheimer oppenheimer optimistic optimistic yes well done say the whole tongue twister again getting the op in optimistic managers and pessimistic supervisors yeah lovely really really good lovely i'd like you to try and smooth it all out a little bit for me now um you were in the warm-up weren't you were in the warm-up when we did this no no no. no. i missed yeah, okay. that's fun Smooth like butter, darling. Optimistic managers. So rather than optimistic managers, can we have optimistic managers? It's nice and bobbing along the ocean on a gentle sea beach day. Okay, try again. Just say that bit. Optimistic managers. Optimistic managers. Yeah, good managers. You see how she did that? Lovely. And now let's move on. And pessimistic supervisors. Smooth, flat. And pessimistic supervisors. Yeah, good. Well done. Better, better. Um, I think because you're 
yeah, I think you've got a really strong kind of glottal and ability to get these consonants here nice and rich for me. I want you to ease off of that a little bit. Now we're trying to make it sound a bit more natural um, and just try and find the smoothness in it a little bit and the less harshness in those mm -hmm. consonants, especially the kind of um, optimistic, like coming back here. Think forward and like you're bobbing along on a boat being towed gently into the ocean. Okay, so try again. Uh, just follow my lead. Optimistic managers optimistic managers good and pessimistic supervisors and pessimistic supervisors yeah good i was just testing you as well to see if you can copy my intonation and you're doing it really really well so lovely um how do you feel about optimistic managers and pessimistic supervisors optimistic managers and pessimistic supervisors good well done lovely we don't really like the pessimistic supervisors, really, do we? We like the optimistic people in life. So good. Lovely. I just gave Deanna just a note for everyone. I was just trying to see if she could kind of add a little bit more meaning behind each bit. And she could really nicely. Um, and again, I think it helps. So let's just try again. Pessimistic supervisors. Just say those two words for me. Pessimistic supervisors. Yeah, supervisors. Can we try and keep it a little bit more what I call on voice? So at the moment, we're bringing supervisors kind of quite far down here and we're kind of losing it. Supervisors, visors. So just say um, super. Super? Yeah, super, super, super. Can we try less super and more super? Super. Super. Yeah, super. More, thank you. Super. Supervisors supervisors yeah good make sure we get that v visors visors yeah yeah um my favorite analogy in this cohort apparently that phone vibrating on the table do that for me again someone's really trying to get it. yeah great <laughs> they won't stop bringing in the phone good supervisors can i have as much vibration as you just gave me then in the visors Supervisors. Yeah, okay, well done. And now let's try and mesh them together a little bit more. Supervisors. Supervisors. Yeah, good. Well done. Better on p as well then. Um, pessimistic supervisors. Say that all again for me. Pessimistic supervisors. Good. How was that V? Uh, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Try again. Pessimistic supervisors. Pessimistic supervisors. Yeah, good. Well done. Um, I think that V is really helpful in bringing the voice and the vibration back to the front of your mouth. When you shy away from it, I think you actually pull back and it becomes supervisors, supervisors back here, supervisors, visors. We've got to let that visors come out and that was much better. Um, On pessimistic, again, let's try and get that nice light P sound in there. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. Again? Pessimistic. Good. Pessimistic. Pessimistic. And now can we have the miss being the main bit mm -hmm. of the word? Pessimistic. 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 Yeah, good. Okay, good. Um, I think we were just putting a bit too much weight behind the P and it was almost making the stress too important there. Um, pessimistic. Pessimistic. Um, in fact, it needs a bit of both, doesn't it? Can we try and stress the pess and the miss? Pessimistic. Dum, da, dum, Pessimistic. Dum. Yeah. Again? Pessimistic. Yeah. Good. Well done. Well done. Any questions? <laughs> Lots of little things. No, you there. Yeah. Just keep practicing. And when you get to like consonant clusters with like, or not consonant clusters, but that and the k, um, you can pull back on it a little bit. Not pull back, but ease off of it a little bit. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. quite as hard. Um, Pessimistic. Mm -hmm. Pessimistic. Can you see how gentle that is as opposed to mm -hmm. pessimistic? Mm -hmm. You don't need to be as, as abrupt with the consonants, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're practicing, yeah. it's good. But when we're trying to put it in a normal conversation, I'd say you can afford, you, Diana, can afford to ease off of it a little bit, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Great. Lovely. Well done. Anya, please. Okay, I'll choose the, uh, the most difficult for me. Uh, yeah. He threw three free throws. Lovely. Well done. Uh, one more time. He threw three free throws. Excellent. Good. So I'm going to give you a bit more of a challenge on this pucker smiling uh, warm up that we've done many a time now. He, let's smile. He. He. Big smile and stay there. He. 
Three. Three. Lip rounding. Three. 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 Throws. Throws. Yeah, good. I think we need to get a little bit more elasticity in these lips and commit more to the sound that we're trying to make. At the moment, what I'm getting is he threw three, three throws. Okay. Imagine this is a lip reading exercise. We need to make it really clear to everyone else in the Zoom room what words we're trying to say. He, let's really ham up the articulation and really exaggerate, Anya. Okay, if you think you're doing it big, you're probably not doing it big enough. Okay, so let's go really crazy. He. He. Yeah, good. Through. Through. Good. Three. 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 Throws. Throws. Good. Well done. Well done. Did that feel like more work? <laughs> it is more work. Yeah. Well done. I think it's just committing and just trying to get those lips moving a little bit more elasticy. Okay. Um, <laughs> Because when you get the lip rounding in as well, it, it it we can understand more of what you're saying. And when we get the width in a little bit more, he rather than he, he, he. There's a lift there. Can you see how I'm literally smiling as I yeah. say he? Yeah. Um, we just <laughs> need to get that a bit more committed. But you were doing it much better then. So I want you to practice that. Uh, when we get to throws again, throws. We don't want the tapped R. So let's just try again. T H to the R. Rose. Rose. Can you do that for me? Rose. 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 Good. Well done. So on that TH, we're not trying to add a voice in there just yet. So uh, it's actually more of a silence. Rose. Okay. Rose. Let's make it really breathy rose. and get those cheeks involved. Try again. Rose. Good. One more time. Rose. Okay. Let's, uh, I might be the microphone. Try one more time on that TH. I really want to see you making that and putting some effort into making that TH sound for me. Okay. Rose. One more time. Rose. Yeah, good. Well done. Much better. Um, I think Lilo herself has arrived in the room. Hi, Lilo. If you're here, I can't see hello, you. Hello. Hello. How are you? Where are you? Hi. Nice to see you. Um, I'm hiding. I'm hiding, I'm hiding from you. <laughs> hiding. Oh, it's nice to see you. I haven't seen you in forever. Um, yeah, welcome. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Hi, guys. Good luck with your training. Bye. They're all doing fabulously well. Um, good, Anya, let's just come back to the whole tongue twister then. And I want you to really commit to where you're going wide, smiling, and where we're getting that lip rounding in, okay? And take your time, don't rush, and really try and not tap that R for me. Throws, one more time. Only that word, right? Rose. A whole tongue twister, but I really want you to slow down okay. on the throws yeah. and get the TH in there first. He threw three three throws yeah good well done really really good effort that tapped R was still in there a little bit um let's just see if we can um do around the ragged rock a little bit so i want you to imagine this is your tongue one of your hands can you get your hand up for me mm -hmm. and use your hand um how, how do i want you throws 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 i want you to imagine we're about to say throws we're just going to use that word we're going to make the th but on the r I want you to really slow down on the R and embrace the R and imagine that this is your tongue. And as you make the R sound, you're curling that tongue up. And I want you to try and feel your tongue do that movement as you make the R sound. Does this make sense? Yeah. So we're just going to go. Go on. Throws. Good. Use your hand and slow it right down. Throws. Throws. Good. Well done. Better. Let's just Throws. take the TH away now and imagine we're saying rows like you row your boat. Rows. Just repeat after me. Rows. Good. Round. Round. Rabbit. Rabbit. Good. Rabbit. Your hand flat again. Yeah. yeah. Rows. Rows. Good, good, good. I want you to really keep your hand flat when you start the sound and feel it curl up. At the moment, you're going rows. Rose, but I want you to go flat. Rose and release it like a gun. Rose. Yeah, better. Okay, good. One more time. Rose. Yes, well done. Good. Um, let's see if we can just pop that with a TH to begin with. Add a little bit more challenge, nice and slowly. Rose. Rose. Better. Rose. Well done. Yeah, yeah, better. Well done. I think it's just about learning to isolate the um. Well, yeah, because you're making the TH sound. 
it's hard then not to connect that tongue again to make the r, r sound, but we don't need to do that in British. We rarely use that unless you're talking in Scottish or something. Um, so yeah, just make sure you work on that for me and get in those R's crystal clear and practice putting different consonants in front of the R's to challenge yourself, okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Otherwise, really, really good though. Was it the THs that you're a bit nervous about? Could be e everything. You know, <laughs> all <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a lot to think about you're doing really really well um and yeah just make sure you're committing to those shapes and get those lips yeah. nice and loosen up for me um any questions no. fantastic you. darling you're very very welcome inga who salts ever have i had you yet i don't think i have hi yeah Hello. I'm here. Hi. Hello. um so i'll try uh this one yep brisk brave brigadiers brandished broad bright blades lovely really really good brisk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. try it one more time for me brisk brave brigadiers brandished broad bright blades yeah lovely really really good effort lovely bees um it's some of the other consonants that i want a little bit more work on now when we say brisk um similar i forget who i gave this to earlier but we want to try and keep the energy of the word kind of going forward even though we've got that lovely k at the end which comes in here when we did the warm-up earlier we we introduced the k sound a little bit more clearly um i want you to enjoy sending the energy forward before you bring it back to the k for example what i'm hearing is brisk 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 we're kind of just pulling it back straight away but i want to have it a little bit more forward towards that s sound which happens here brisk brisk try again for me and try and think more forward in the mouth brisk brisk yeah good well done on that b as well let's try and avoid brisk brisk it's a little bit more of a neutral shape in the lips yeah brisk 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 yeah lovely better um so yeah it was with asia actually i think earlier so we really want that lovely br sound coming through if something is brisk it's normally a bit nippy and a bit chilly um and we do do that kind of like brr, kind of uh, it's a bit theatrical but sometimes we go brr, it's cold so i really want to enjoy that brisk and that vowel sound um a little bit more and try and keep the energy in that area of the word before just pulling it back okay so again try one more time brisk uh brisk yeah brisk yeah, better. Lovely. It's a very short word, um, and but there's a lot going on in there. And I want you to enjoy all of the consonants a little bit more at the beginning, because I think we were just skimming over them a little bit. Brisk, brisk. No, brisk. It's brisk. Okay. Um, that was much better. Well done. Just say brave. 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 Good. Rather than thinking brave, brave, up and out, can we try and think more... Um, down and lowering it into the tongue. Brave, brave, like scooping under almost. Brave, brave. Good, well done. One more time. Brave. Yeah, brave, brave. Um, brave, 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 brave. Hang on, I'm just trying to think of an analogy if I can. Brave, brave, brave. Can we, we've just done that BR, haven't we, on brisk. I want the same energy on br when we get to the brave. And then I want you to imagine um, that you're like a like a ship coming into, like a crashing into a wave. There's like a lift in there, brave, like a kind of like a tree coming up through the ground or something, something kind of lifting through and pushing through a little bit more. Um, so just try one more time. I don't know if that's a very good analogy, but I want to try it. Brave, brave 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 good well done lovely i think you're making a bit more of a scoop in your tongue which is what i wanted more of and less of a lifted tongue brave 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 you're making more shape in your mouth uh, space in your mouth now i think um does that make sense could you hear the difference there's much more richness in there yeah yeah i think i can hear the difference as well yeah yeah, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Um, lovely. Do the whole tongue twister again. And let's really try and get brisk and brave. Really enjoy those vowel sounds in there. And let's see if that impacts any of the rest of the, the tongue twister. Mm -hmm. Brisk, brave, brigadiers, brandished, broad, bright blades. 
Lovely. Really, really good. Well done. I feel like the brigadiers and the brandished were actually a bit stronger there as well. The bruh sound. Um, so good. Really don't commit. Um, do commit, guys. The general note. When you've got a b followed by a r or a r in general, that R sound, really commit to it and practice getting that down because I think they're really fun um, shapes that we make in a British accent. Yeah, it's in there. British. We're proud to be British. Proud. Yeah, really, we really do use those R's sometimes. Um, sometimes we get a bit lazy with them, but when you use them a bit more clearly, Inga, it's, it's really nice. Um, lovely. Brandished, broad, bright place. Can you just say brandished, broad, please? Brandished, broad. Yeah, good. I think on the I sounds, um, brandished, and even on brisk still, um, we're just skimming over it because it is an I sound and it is a short sound. Um, you're right to have that impetus, but I actually want you to enjoy them a little bit more in this word, in, in this, in this, um, in these words. Okay. So again, let's just try it brisk and let's let the I hang in the air a little bit more. Brisk. Brisk. Yeah, better. Eh. I can really hear the eh coming through a little bit more. And then in brandished. 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 Good. Brandished. Yeah, good. Brandished. Brandished. Yeah, better. I think it's just about letting it come through a little bit more and not skimming over it because you've been taught it's a short kit vowel sound. Okay. In some words, I think we can enjoy it a little bit more and let it elongate a little teeny tiny bit more okay yeah, yeah <laughs> really be good final thing on broad make sure you hit the d at the moment i'm getting broad bright blades okay broad 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 bright blades yeah good well done much better any questions no thank you so much you're <laughs> welcome no problem inga lovely work uh who hasn't been yet three other hands raised where have you gone there we are. Aliona, please. Hello there. Hello. I will go for the same one. Mm -hmm. Brisk, brave brigadiers, brandished, broad, bright blades. Really, really good. Blades, blades. Rather than blades, blades, can I have blades, blades, blades. a little bit easier. Again? Blades, blades. Yeah, let's try broad, bright blades. Broad, bright blades. Good. Broad. Broad. Yeah, good. Rather than broad, broad, kind of broad, or I want more awed in there. Broad. Broad. Good. And now ease off of it a little bit. Broad. 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 Good. Interesting. I think because of the way it's spelt, you're saying it a certain way. Broad. Can we try broad? Broad. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> broad. Okay. <laughs> too, too much. No, it was broad. too much, but you did exactly what I spelt. Good. Now let's try imagining it with a W. Broad. Broad. Again. Broad. Broad. Good. Broad. broad. Can we have rather than broad, um, broad, broad? Can I have broad, broad? A bit more lip rounding and more of a. Mm -hmm. Broad. Yeah. Broad. He's a bit more lip rounding from you in that moment. Um, broad, bright blades. Broad, bright. Blades. Yeah, lovely. Really, really good. Bright, bright blades, broad, bright blades. Do the whole tongue twister again. Try and get that in for me. Brisk, brave brigadiers, brandished, broad, bright blades. Excellent. Really, really good. Now I would like a little bit more meat behind it. Um, is this quite a casual thing to talk about? Not quite, but I'll no. make it. <laughs> Um, I want you to make it more exciting okay. and, and spell it out for me. If someone is brave, I don't know about you, but that's one of the best things, best qualities anyone can have. It's the most admirable quality to have courage and be brave. Oof, these are soldiers. These are people we admire. So can you tell me about how admirable they are using all of those consonants that are in the word? Absolutely. Thank you. Brisk, brave brigadiers, brandished, broad, bright blades. Lovely. Well done. Much better. Um, get that level engagement in there, level of engagement in there and, and thinking, why am I saying this behind it? Because I think it really helps you in particular. Um, brigadiers, brigadiers. Brigadiers. Yeah, better. Um, I can't remember what you were saying for brigadier brigadiers. Brigadiers, maybe? Brigadiers. Brigadiers. Sure. Brigadiers. 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 
Yeah, Brigadiers. It's an interesting one because it's spelled I E R. Um, but yeah, dear. Peer, uh, peer, mm -hmm. You were saying it better when we just worked on it. So well done. So the whole tongue twister again, get Brigadiers in there. And again, let's give it a bit more oomph. Really, mm -hmm. really, really go for, go for it. Well done. Okay. Brisk, brave Brigadiers brandished broad, bright blades. Yeah, lovely. Really good. Any questions? No questions, thank you. Really good. Lovely. Good commitment, Aliona. Lovely. Um, Ilya, please. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Optimistic managers and pessimistic supervisors. Yeah, good. One more time. Optimistic managers and pessimistic supervisors. Yeah, good supervisors. Lovely. Just say optimistic. 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 Good. Rather than optimistic, can we try optimistic? Optimistic. Optimistic. Again. Optimistic. Yeah. Okay. Good. Managers. Managers. Yeah. Manager. Man. Can we try and get man a little bit stronger? So it's not managers. 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 Better. Good. And pessimistic. Pessimistic. Excellent. Supervisors. Supervisors. Yeah. Supervisors. Say supervisors again. Supervisors. Soup. Rather than soup, soup. Can I have more of a soup? Soup. More forward. Yeah. Supervisors. Better. Again. Supervisors. Yeah, good. And perhaps maybe thinking forward, but kind of like, well, like a hot, like, like nice hot bowl of soup. Soup. Um, soup. Almost like you're landing in the soup a little bit. Supervisors. Yeah supervisors yeah good just to give it a bit more meatiness and richness yeah rather than soup 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 to me that's very up here we don't like it soup Ooh. soup gloopy soup say that soup. supervisors gloopy supervisors supervisors gloopy supervisors <laughs> go on gloopy is it gloopy gloopy <laughs> like gross gloopy yeah. supervisors yeah good well done good and as well that makes us use um glue glue, glue. glue. we kind of come glue. into it rather than just being su 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 okay glue. yeah good um do the whole tongue twister again and try and get all of that in there please so the intonation should be optimistic 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 managers and pessimistic supervisors yeah yes well done much more british i think have you got any questions or are there any no, other no, bits no. a bit like no really really good um yeah optimistic pessimistic or sometimes pessimistic mm. or optimistic or mm. pessimistic optimistic there's kind of different stresses we can play but it depends on what the situation is optimistic managers i think suited managers. you a bit for mm -hmm. some reason um lovely well done Ilya great job um, and well done slowing down and taking your time a little bit more listening um as we were doing it well done um Terry Wolf please I'm going with the second one he threw three free throws good we've done this one before haven't we Terry I don't remember I remember I remember, I remember you specifically doing it try it again one more time <laughs> he threw Three free throws. Yeah, really good. Lovely. He threw. Can we make it? Uh, you, can I just point out? Terry's doing a great example of throwing the words out there. He threw three free throws. She's making it very clear and direct, which is really nice. Can we chill it out a little bit now, my love? He threw three free throws. It was amazing. Try that. Soften he, it up. He, he threw three free throws. Yeah, good. Well done. Through. Can we try now avoiding through? Through. He threw these things. He threw three free throws. Yeah, good. Better. It was a bit more... I mean, you did it very direct to begin with, but there was still a kind of like through, through. Again, we don't really go ooh much in a British accent, I would say. Through, through. It's a bit more tidier and simpler. Through, through. Try again. Through. He threw. He threw three free throws. Good. And rather than it coming back here, through 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 can we try through 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 more forward and being stopped by the lips as opposed to the throat through 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 
take it through, 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 ooh, ooh. ooh. Yes, please. Ooh, through. In through. fact, let's just soften it up a little bit. Let's forget about the kind of glottal ending at the, uh, the moment. Can we just go through, through? Try that, play around with the pitch, through. Ooh. Through. Ooh, can you feel more resonance in your Ooh. lips? Ooh. Through. Ooh. Through. Through. Ooh. Through. Good. So we've tried getting more resonance and pitch coming through forward um, and getting the resonance here more, which is lovely. Through. Through. Can you also see how my minuscule my lips are moving? It didn't help if I go there, but can you see how I'm doing a very quick watch, watch my lips? Through. Through. Can you see I'm almost doing it twice? Through. 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 Good. I, you're getting it. Through. Just try one more time again, keeping it quite chilled. We're not trying to bring it back. We're trying to bring it forward and think through. 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 That's it. Rather than through. 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 Try and get the ooh in there a little bit more. Through, through. Through, yeah. through, through, through. He threw three free throws. Yeah, good. Well done. Careful on throws. It doesn't become two. Throws, throws, throws. It's still got the O's sound in there, but we're not stressing the O's so much. Throws, throws. Get to the O's. Oh. The end of that quicker. Throws. 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 I think it just requires a little bit less effort. Le less, effort less effort from you. Okay. Do you, yeah. Did you hear the difference and feel what you were doing differently? E yes. Well, I will listen in a. Listen back. And when you're practicing, slow down. Because when you're going through, 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 you can't, there's no, I can't even comprehend what you're doing that quickly. I'm trying to pick it up and neither can you. So just slow it right down. Through, through. Okay. What did I do there? Think about it. Okay. Throws, throws. What are you doing differently there? Slow down. Just slow down. Try not to drill it before you know what you're drilling. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Well done. You're welcome. Let's come on. Has everyone been? That's, yeah, I think we've all done the tongue twisters. Oh, gosh. Where's my notes app gone? Hang on a second. Let's come to work conversations. Yay. So um, some of these may be things that you do kind of say in, in a work environment. Who knows? Um, <laughs> through. Two lip movements. Wow. <laughs> Diana, brilliant. Um, so I've popped them in the chat. Have a little go round and, well, have a little read and we're going to go round, pick one of these and we're going to have a little work on it individually again, okay? So pick one that maybe you would use or if there's a word that you would use particularly like assignment or challenge, um, we can kind of go round them individually. Do you want me to read them all individually? First of all, quickly. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Please. great. Read. Yeah, and Lilo's also just mentioned um about the lip rounding. Thr ooh. <laughs> it's the thr ooh two. Crazy, isn't it? Love it. Bloody love this stuff. Good. I'll quickly read the words, uh, read the words, read the sentences for you, and then we'll go around individually. So number one. When do you think you can get the project finished by? And we'll just do each one once and you can Good, see you're all practicing. Fabulous, darlings. Number two, we'll need the presentation ready by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Is that doable? Doable. Weird one, that, isn't it? Good, moving on, number three. Good morning. How was the networking event last night? Who was there? You may notice I'm really committing to like actually saying it and meaning what I'm saying. Again, it's going to impact how we say it slightly differently. So do when you come to doing it individually, do try and put put your own personality into it, guys. Really good. Um, number four, I'll take my lunch at one. Does that work for you guys? Number five. The assignment was a real challenge, but I definitely feel I handled the pressure well. Well done, guys. Um, number six. 
Have you got any feedback regarding the meeting presentation from Wednesday? Sorry, I didn't even think that made sense. Let me try again. Have you got any feedback regarding the meeting presentation from Wednesday? Makes sense in my head, that one. Well done, guys. Number seven. I appreciate everyone being here this afternoon and I'm looking forward to sharing the details with you. I cheated a little bit on that one. I said, and I'm looking forward, but you could say, and am looking forward. That's what I've written. Um, but anyway, we'll come to that if anyone does it. Number eight. <laughs> Let's get the ball rolling and have something put together by close of play. Great, guys. Number nine. Let's touch base next week and take it from there. Keep me in the loop. Corporate lingo, that, isn't it? Number 10. Well done, guys. Thank you for your patience. I've been running on a tight schedule for the past few weeks, but have more time now. I don't know why these are making me laugh so much. <laughs> I think it's because I'm so not a corporate person. I've worked in a corporate environment before, um, but it's so not... <laughs> my style which you might realize as I'm kind of laughing at myself as I'm saying them let's go through individually then pick one that you feel challenges you the most and that you want to work on if it's more applicable to you we'll start with Aliona please okay good morning how was the networking event last night who was there Really good. Well done again. Lovely personality coming through there from Aliona. Um, networking rather than walking, working, work. Work, networking. Better the second time. We almost made it a V that first time, didn't we? Networking. Networking. Yeah, networking. we don't want the work. Yeah. Work, work, networking. It always takes two or more times with me <laughs> when it comes to work. As it should, as it should, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, tell me about it. Um, good, networking, working, were, were. Can you keep that tongue quite flat in your mouth for me? Were, were. Were, were. Yeah, good, were. working. Working. Were, were, were. Were, working, networking. Uh. I think the R is tripping you up in your brain a little bit maybe net work work working 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 i think we're trying to maybe lift that a little bit work work i think it's just a case of keeping the tip of your tongue behind the teeth as you open out from the w working 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 better and when you commit to the lip rounding it sounds more correct because it's not becoming working mm -hmm. working yeah working Working. Better. Working. Networking. Yeah, networking. And again, on T, I'm going to let you drop the T and just say mm -hmm. networking. 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 Yeah, good. Networking. And let's try and... Yep, yep, yep. Really, really good. Networking. Throw it all away now. Networking. Okay, good. One more time. Networking. Excellent. Just because we're adding that glottal in on the T, we're just making... We're breaking it up a little bit. Networking. Networking. I just want you to kind of crack on networking 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 good well done how was the networking networking, networking. sounds weird for me with the glottal stop for now because it's, i'm not used to it i know interesting you, you tell me <laughs> it's a choice it's a choice you can say networking um network how was the networking event uh say the whole hold the whole tongue twister the whole sentence mm -hmm. again um with the t on networking try again Good morning. How <laughs> I'll start again. I didn't like the good morning part. Good morning. How was the network networking event last night? Who was there? Yeah, good. Well done. Networking event. I think you would say a tea. I think it does suit you. I give you permission to play around with both though, dropping the tea and having the tea. Networking. Work working work. Working, working. Yeah, I think just on that working, working, I think we're keeping the tongue quite high, maybe at the back of your throat, and it's becoming networking, working. 
because I think maybe we're getting mm-hmm. ready for the the ng sound in ing. Um, mm-hmm. what, but it's it's much more open in the mouth before we come to that. So try not to cross the bridge before you've got to the bridge. Can we just um try and make sure we've got the were king? Just break those. Let's just do two words for now. Were king. Were king. And again. Were king. He. Uh, I were king. I were king. Watch that W doesn't become a V, Mrs. I were king. I were king. Were, were king. Yeah, good. I think it's something to do with when we go were, were king, were king. You've got to get the lip rounding more committed for me. Working. Working. Yeah, you need to get working. To yeah, okay. Make sure you get there. If I hear a V out of you when it should be a W again, I'm coming for you. Um, really, really good. Keep drilling that for me. And now let's try net were king. Three separate words. Net were king. Better. One more time. Net were king. Yeah, good. King. Make sure it is king. an energy at the back of the throat. Yeah, kin. King. 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 Yeah, yeah, king. good. Net were king. Net were king. Yeah, okay, good. Let's see if we can squish it together a little bit. Net were king. Net were king. Make sure we get the w in there were. released. Net were king. Yeah, okay. Networking. Networking. Yeah. Good. Try again. Networking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Better. Try again. Networking. How does that feel? I think I grasped it, but uh, I need to dance around for a while before I uh, uh, stick to the Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just that w sound is a little bit inconsistent. And I think it's just sometimes you're not quite getting there. And we need to have that. Can you see how I'm releasing my lips? W. Wuh. I'm all can you see my cheeks almost puffing yeah. out as well? Wuh. I'm letting the air build up before I choose to release it. Whereas when we make a V sound, this is just notes for everyone. When we make a V sound, it comes from here. Very velvety vape. Right? It's here. Wuh, wuh, wuh. Work. We will go to work on that thing. It's very different. So just make sure you get those really, really clear because it's a massive giveaway. Um mm-hmm as you know. Um, but overall, really, really good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Can we just have a little bit more good morning coming down into it rather than good morning? Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. Well, Very rarely we're going well, good morning. Well, well, <laughs> we, we, we very rarely kind of go good morning. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Good morning. You know, we might kind of ham it up a little bit different ways. Um, but if anything, it's a bit of a sing songy thing, or we'll kind of come on to it. Good morning. Um, no, sorry, hang on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Got oh, good morning to you. <laughs> we'll change it, but again, try and play around with the, the the variation of what mood you're in and if you're talking to your manager as opposed to your colleague who is, you know, what status are you speaking to? Uh, who are you speaking to mm-hmm. status wise? Um, good. Any final questions? All good. I'll take it to practice. Um, Thank you. Well done, Aliona. Lovely. Diana, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, thank you for your patience. Uh, I've been running on a tight schedule for the past few weeks, but have more time now. Well done. Lovely. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, before I think I got, thank you for patience. It's their mm-hmm. patience, not yours. I mean, you know, it's your, thank you for your patience, your patience. Um, But good, say thank you for your patience again. Thank you for your patience. Good. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Careful, it doesn't come. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your Thank you for your patience. Slow it right down and let's just really enjoy, again, that legato and the vowel sounds in it a little bit more rather than clipping over those and getting to the consonants. Can we try? Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. Better. And let's go even further, like how I just did it then. For your patience. Let's really hum it up like we're doing Shakespeare. Thank you for your patience. Try that. Thank you for your patience. 
Yeah, good. Well done. Much better. Um, just enjoy those vowel sounds, my love. I think, again, just from what I'm seeing today, we have a habit of just skimming over them. And actually, they're part of the, the beautiful resonant tone mm -hmm. that we create in our British accents, right? Um, patience, again, we want to get it P, not B, not patience. Patience. Pa, 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 pa. Patience. Try again. Patience. Better. Yeah. Just make sure you're... Um, yeah, maybe not overcompensating where you're trying so hard to get the P sound. Maybe it's becoming more of a B. Um, we want to just chill out on it a little bit more. Yeah, patience. And it's a nice, calm, airy word as well. Patience. Patience. Like, yeah, you're in a church with a nun and she's very patient. Um, good, lovely. Um, I've been running on a tight schedule. Can you just say that bit for me? I've been running on a tight schedule for some Good. Specificity there, right? I've been running on a tight schedule. Slow it right down again and really get every consonant and vowel in there for me, please. I've been running on a tight schedule. Good. Well done. And if you think about it, she has been on a tight schedule, so now she can afford to chill out a little bit more, right? And take time with her words. I was running on a tight schedule, but oof, now I've got plenty more time. We do slow down the pacing depending on what we're saying, okay? So again, big challenge for you, Diana. I want you to slow down. Slow the mm -hmm. heck, heck down and practice getting it all in. Let's just try that again. I've been, I've been running on a tight schedule. Slow it right down. Uh, I've been running on a tight schedule. Good. Running. 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 Good. It's a two-syllable word, not rung. I've been rung. No. Running. Running. Better. Running. I've been running. And I would give you permission, actually, to say running as opposed to running. 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 Yeah. Good. Um, running as opposed to running. Um, da -da 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 -da. And I've, not of. I've been running. I've, I've been running. Yeah, good. I've been running on a tight schedule. I've been running on a tight schedule. I've been running. I've been running. Yeah, you can do it. It's just the precision, I think, and tying it all together um, and concentrating and slowing down enough to give yourself time to, to hit it bang on as you do it. It's just more practice, I think. Mm -hmm. Have you got any questions about anything? Thanks. No problem. You're welcome, darling. Alina, Alina Lebedeva. Yeah. When do you think you can get the project finished by? Mm-hmm. Very good. Try again. When do you think you can get the project finished by? Excellent. Can we try and make it more, um... oh God, when do you think you can get it done by? Like a little bit more inquisitive and less like, when are you going to get it done then? A little bit less stern and more friendly. More friend friendly, okay. Yeah, more friendly. Why not? Uh, when do you think you can get the project finished by? Yeah, good. Well done. When do you think you can get... You were dragging it out in different ways, in different... Not dragging it out, but you were dragging out certain vowel sounds in different ways, which was really nice. Um, I just wanted to see if you could mix it up a little bit. And you did. When, when. Similar to what we were just talking about with Aliona. W, not then. When. 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 And can you enjoy the N sound again? When we got these lovely rich Ns and Ms in our British accent, we do use them. When do you think? When. Enjoy the when, N. Sound. When do you think? One more time. When do you think? What's the difference? I'm hearing and seeing this. When. 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 Good. When. So what I'd like you to imagine doing... Have you ever blown up a balloon before? Yeah, of course. Okay, very carefully, please don't hurt yourself and very gently, I want you to actually imagine you've got a balloon to your lips and you're gonna let your cheeks puff out. Everyone can do this exercise actually. Very gently, but please be careful, don't force anything. Just gently, I want you to let your cheeks puff out and imagine you're trying to blow up a balloon. Like this. Yeah, good, and let it go. Please breathe, don't give yourself a heart attack. And now let's actually make that, let a little bit of air flow through. <laughs> Are you letting the air flow through, Alina? I can't hear it. Uh, like, uh, could you please show how to do? Like I'm making a really ugly kind of farty sound. <laughs> good, good, good. Okay, good, good. <laughs> well done. Now I want you to make the wuh and then let the, the wuh, wuh kind of come and release as we go. What? 
you, wow. I hope you cannot give yourself a heart attack from what? doing the facial. Please be careful. Um, good. So what I want you to do is allow the cheeks to inflate and then let the lips go when the cheeks feel like they're full. For example, I'll just show you. Wa, 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 wa. Good. Can you feel your cheeks inflating mm -hmm. at all, Alina? Yes, I feel. Okay, good. Okay. Let them inflate a little bit more for me. Wa, wa. Excellent. Wa. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. When? When? Yes! Hey, there we when? go. That's what I'm after, okay? I need that little airflow to build up slightly. Gosh, everyone, just take a breather. Make sure you sat down. Even I've got lightheaded after doing that. Holy cow. Um, well done. Great commitment, guys. Um, I want that level of commitment from your cheeks every time you make a W sound, okay? Mm -hmm. When? When? We have to let the airflow build before we release it. It's not a V sound. And I think you're doing the lip rounding correctly, which is what I'm asking for, Alina, which is great. You're doing it, but what you're doing is actually letting the teeth get involved. But I want to ignore the teeth and just get to the lips. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Better. When? 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 Better get in there can you practice that and isolate yeah. in the v's from the w's and really pay attention to yourself and be strict with yourself record mm -hmm. yourself and watch yourself so record like on selfie mode and see if you can check and hear what you're doing differently when it does become a v um just because we've got to get that consistent okay yeah, yeah of course yeah thank you very much amazing you're very welcome well done um asia please okay mm. I'll take my lunch at, let's see, one. Does that work for you guys? <laughs> Look at that. She's got props involved. She even bought her diary out. Love it. Well done, my love. Um, what was that? Let's, did you say let's see? Did you add that in there? Yes, lovely. Yeah. I like, let's see. That was mine. And Brilliant. Was cool. Fabulous. Lovely bit of characterization and improv there. Um, let's just try it again. Try one more time. Okay, I'll take my lunch at one. Um, does that work for you guys? Excellent. Really, really good. Um, does that work for you guys? Lovely. Um, yeah, fantastic. Guys, just say guys. 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 Good. Okay. I'm hearing guys. 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 I feel like this is really guys. 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 One more time. Guys. Guys. No, guys. That's wrong. Guys. Guys. Better more forward and i think again it's letting it happen in the mouth more rather than at the back of the throat guys 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 yeah think around and along to the front of the mouth guys guys Go. Good, well done. Yeah. Guys. Hear it? the the new uh, like uh feeling is is it's strange not like the usual so i get kind of confused okay guys Good, better. Guys, yeah. Guys. guys, guys. Before it was kind of guys, guys, guys. Mm -hmm. Grinning, I think helps. And thinking, getting it through that teeth helps. Through that teeth, through your teeth helps a little bit more, keeping it more up and forward and around. Yeah. Um, there was something else I was about to say about that. Uh, guys, 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 guys. Yeah, just on the S at the end, guys, guys. Mm -hmm. We make sure it's a Z, then a bit of an S if it's going to, a Z, then a bit of an S, please. Guys, guys, guys. Hey, guys, what are you up to? Hey, guys. Yeah, needs a bit of more of a Z, not just an S. Yeah, can you just say the whole tongue twister again and get guys in there? And what other improv you want to add in there? Okay, um, I'll take my lunch at one. Does it work? For... Sorry, I feel completely sick. Um, I'll take my lunch at one. Does that work for you guys? Good. Well done. Um, lunch at one. At one. At one. I'll take my lunch at one. I'll take my lunch at one. Yeah, good. Yeah. At one. Yeah. I think uh, we skimmed over a little bit. At one. I think we'd still definitely get... One. We don't say, I'll take my lunch one. Oh, one will take their lunch, will they? No, I'll take my lunch at one. Get that dirty uh in there. Ut in there, yeah. Um, and just say I'll. I'll. Yeah, I'll take my lunch. I'll take my lunch. Yeah, careful it doesn't become, I'll take my lunch. I'll take my lunch. I'll take my lunch. Yeah, when you bring it into context of the sentence, you're kind of going, oh, a little bit. I'll. 
I'll take my lunch at one. I'll. I'll. I'll take my lunch at one. Yeah, well done, well done. It's a funny one, isn't it? I think for you generally, thinking more around to the for to, to the front might help. Trying to keep the voice and the words like in this part of your mouth a little bit more. I can't remember if I've given you this note before. Um, but just thinking, even as like because a lot of the words like aisle and guys, it starts kind of at the back of the throat on a glottal, whether it's a g or the aisle, the the glottal kind of onset. So it, but the, the word kind of finishes near the front of the mouth. So thinking of enjoying that space where the sound starts to the front. And we did kind of cover this in the warm up a little bit, like just where we're sending each sound. It can just really help a little bit. Does that make sense? Yes, totally. Good. I think because of the th uh, sore throat and uh, ah. sores, I get everything confused. So I don't feel it like- Oh, awkward. bless you, and okay. Like, like shit. <laughs> oh, bless you, no worries. Well, well done for showing up anyway. I hope you feel better, my love. You did a really great job, regardless. I'm just being very nitpicky because that's what we're here for. Um, so yeah, well done, darling. Fantastic work. What was um, the Ilya. Word you oh. say, like nit nit nitpicky. Nitpicky. If someone's nitpicking, they're looking at the little things. They're they're picking at nits. Do you know what a knit is? I don't know if this is the context, but a knit is like a little bug in your hair that itches that children oh. get usually. Um, so nitpicking it's like you know when gorillas are combing through looking for little oh, bugs yeah. to eat that's what that's what i picture anyway but look it up in the dictionary or in the the um colloquial dictionary i'm not sure oh. if that's the actual definition you for your nitpicking nitpicking yeah i'm being very nitpicky or you could say pernickety no not pernickety yeah nitpicking i'm nitpicking the tiny details that i want slightly different from you thank you yeah <laughs> I'll speak to like I used to do a little bit of um Ilya we'll go with you next I used to do a little bit of like just general phrases and stuff that we say that you might not have come across before um in the group chats and stuff but I'll see I'll see if Lila wants me to do any more of that because it's quite useful isn't it because I do say some weird stuff that you've probably never heard of before and it's good to have a, an idea of what all what it is that we say um good Ilya what would you like to do please um have you got any feedback regarding the meeting presentation from Wednesday Good, well done. Good, again, with you, it's. I feel like it's very much forward and more like all focus here. Have you got any meeting from the do 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 It's all quite here on the possible lips, yeah? I want you to enjoy the, the again, meatiness, heavy soup richness of these words and imagine your, your mouth is a bowl of soup that we want to see all of the vegetables and everything in it and i want you to enjoy it more um as you're saying it which i know is quite a broad note but let's just try again um let me just quickly find it have you got any feedback just say that bit for me have you got any feedback good got let's really have let that got. got have you got better yeah um it's about getting more space in that mouth like almost like you've got a satsuma in your mouth and you're trying to use all of that resonance in there have you got any feedback have you got any feedback yeah good got when you get to got i do want you to on the ah oh, can you see how low my tongue is go as low oh 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 can we just everyone can practice this oh 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 all that space oh 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 Good. Even oh. more, I'm going to ask you. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Do it again. Go on, you can do it. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Like a really crappy villain from a Disney film. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah? Try again. I want that. I want that silly. Go Dang. on. Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, good. Got. Got. Yeah, have you got any have feedback? Have you got any feedback? Excellent, much better. Regarding the meeting. Regarding the meeting. Yeah, good. Um, presentation from Wednesday. Presentation from Wednesday. Yeah, I think for you, Ilya, it's just getting used to moving your mouth and being a bit bigger with it. Um, and enjoying the shape and the uh, oh the space that you can have in your mouth. I do think sometimes if we're... Would you say you're quite a shy person, Ilya? Or would you say you're quite outgoing or... Introvert. More shy than outgoing. Pardon? More shy than outgoing. More shy than outgoing, yeah. exactly. Outgoing people, they can be really loud and they're happy to open their mouths, right? 
bit like me um but then sometimes if we're a bit shyer we do keep everything in a little bit more we don't move as much physically we are a little bit more engaged and reserved right however i want you to practice being less reserved it's going to feel uncomfortable but i do want you to practice really going to town and letting your mouth open more so when we're doing like you know the tongue hook exercise all mm -hmm. of that stuff is just get used to doing that even more um just to feel what space you do have in your mouth and in your throat that you can <clears throat> Uh, enjoy more and play with more yeah okay because the minute you do it comes to life a little bit more and it's just a lot more muscular and a lot less reserved and it becomes a little bit all up here and that's not how we sound in british <laughs> okay um have you got any questions no but uh, i <laughs> i see sometimes people who like they don't use the space in the mouth their mouth but they they're english and they're british <laughs> Of course, yes. And there are some people like that as well. I think for the sake of this exercise and enjoying getting, or not enjoying it, but practicing getting the resonance um, and the space in the mouth where it needs to be there, mm -hmm. you can still keep your lips quite, um, you know, neutral, but actually there is quite a lot of space in my mouth as I'm talking. My tongue is, my tongue is coming quite low and I am enjoying all of that resonance in there. Yes, my lips aren't moving that much and I know I can be like really crazy out there, but you can do the same but have a lot more depth in your voice. And I think that richness is something that we do have in, uh, most people have in their British accents, especially mm -hmm. contemporary British. It's a little bit more resonant and open in the mouth. Um, yeah, so yeah, just keep working on that for fun and having a Thank bit you. more creativity with it. But really, really good. Lovely when you were calling and responding from me. Fantastic. Uh, Anya, please. Good morning. How was the networking event last night? Who was there? Well done. Can we have a really sing-songy good morning? Yeah. Da -da -da. Good morning. Yeah, that's so British. Well done. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> One more time. Good morning. Yeah, lovely. Good morning. Good morning. More. Can we have more? More. Good morning. Good more. Uh, good morning. Yeah, just a little bit more lip opening um, and jaw release. More, morning. Morning. Yeah, morning. Lovely. Well done. Um, how was the networking event last night? Just ask me that. How was the networking event last night? Yeah, good. Interesting. Networking event. The V. Event. Yeah. Event. How was the networking event? How was the networking event last night? Yeah, really, really good. And I'll give you permission as well on morning and networking. I give you permission to say in with the tip of the tongue in. as opposed to the NG for now. Um, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good. Well done. How was the networking? How was the net networking? Network. Networking event. 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 Networking event. Networking event. Yeah, good. Well done. And again, on work, 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 work. Networking. Time. Better, better. You had more space in your mouth that time. Well done. Working. Working. Yeah. Working. Working. Rather than thinking work, work, can we try more sucker? Work, work. Work, 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 work. Better, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Thinking work rather than work, 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 work. It's in a work. week. It's the morning. How was the networking work. event? Work, networking event, event. Yeah. Good, well done. Now can we just try and smooth it out a little bit? Networking event, networking, networking event, networking event. Yeah, good. Well done. Um, it's just careful, being careful with some of these words, similar to, I forget who did it now earlier, networking. We don't want to make it too um, separate. Mm. Networking. How was the networking? Networking. Event? networking. Yeah. Mm. Almost one word, networking event. Networking event. Yeah, good. Much better that time. Well done. Have you got any questions? No, thank you. Very good, Anya. Well done. We are running over a little bit, guys. Thank you for your patience. But hey, we usually do. Zana, please. Um, let's get the ball rolling and have something put together by close of play. 
Well done. Lovely. Let's get the ball rolling. Can we imagine, similar to what I just gave Ilya, like that idea that there is a ball in your mouth and there's a round, there's a round space in your mouth that we can play with. So let's just say, let's get the ball rolling. Let's get the ball rolling. Excellent. Ball roll. I think ball rolling. I think there's a nice tongue drop going in there. On get, get. Can we let uh, that fall forward a little bit more? Let's get the ball rolling. Get. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. It starts here. Similar to the warm up, guys, isn't it? G, t, b, or whatever it is that we're doing. G, t, t. We start back here. We come to the front. Get. Do that again for me. Get. 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 Yeah, good. Let's get the ball. Let's get the ball. Yeah, good. And let and get are exactly the same shape, the same vowel, vowel shape. So can you just do that for me? Let's get. Let's get. Yeah, better, more precision there. Um, the, On let, it was a little bit wishy-washy, I'd say that time. Um, But when you did it again, it was much more secure, I'd say. So well done. Let's get the ball rolling and have something put together. Say all of that. Let's get the ball rolling. I have something put together. Yeah, good. Something, some, something, something. Something. Got to get that TH in there so it doesn't become something. 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 Yeah, good. And again on that one, something. Let's get something put together. Um, Don't be afraid to play around with that mm sound in something. Again, if you're stressed in particular, we need to get something done. We're going to use that M a little bit more because we're more stressed, right? But if we're like, oh, something, and we don't really care, we might brush it over a little bit more, but we're still saying something specifically, not something or some something. We might say something, actually. Um, in fact, can we try that? Can you say, let's get something put together? Let's have something, something put together. Well done. Good, good, good. Just a general note for all of you guys. Sometimes people say something some ink or something even though it's something with a g people do it all the time it's like espresso and expresso in coffee i don't know if you're familiar with what i'm saying but sometimes people like abbreviate it up a little bit and it actually drives me mad when they say the wrong word um but again we can talk about this in length in the in the chat um but yeah i give you permission zana to mix it up a little bit but for you i do actually think you would say something um but the option is there for you to play around with if you want to um something together just try that whole bit again that we just covered Let <clears throat> let's get the ball rolling i have something put together by close of play well done. Together. Again, we're not trying to make it a Z sound. Together. 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 Much better. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's quite bouncy. Together. Together. Yeah, fantastic. Well done, well done. That's much better. Um, and yeah, just on rolling, I feel like we're doing something a little bit different there that's jarring with my ear a little bit. Just say rolling. 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 Again? Rolling. Yeah, let's get the ball rolling. Say that again. Let's get the ball rolling. Rolling. Let's get the ball rolling. Rolling. Yeah, I think rolling. Rolling. I think, again, you could actually abbreviate it more to rolling in rather than NG. Let's get the ball rolling. Can you say rolling. rolling with an N rather than an NG? Rolling. Rolling. Again? Rolling. Let's get the ball rolling. Let's get the ball rolling. Yeah, I think that's a bit better. Um, whether it's a bit of a hybrid of both. Um, I think rolling, when we make it rolling, it just sounds a bit odd because we don't really stress that part of the word. Rolling, rolling. Rolling. Yeah, rolling. So less mm and more rolling in. It's that in sound I think I want more of. Does that make sense? Less n, more. In. More n. Sorry, more in, less mm. Okay, rolling. 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 Yeah, rolling pin. Rolling. Yeah. Okay. Better. Make sense? Yes. Kind of. 
Good. Well done. Um, excellent, Zana. Well done. Lovely work. Uh, Terry, please. Thank you for your patience. I've been running on a tight schedule for the past few weeks, but have more time now. Well done. Lovely. Um, Terry said schedule, which is interesting. I would always say schedule, but people say both. So again, can you just try schedule to satisfy me, please, Terry? Please. <laughs> schedule schedule how, how do you say it schedule is it is it not american way interesting probably i say a lot of americanisms but i've always said schedule and i've never said schedule um i don't know why maybe that is because i've watched lots of american films growing up but that is always what i'd say and my my mum would say schedule as well and she's essex through and through um but maybe it's a bit of an American way, but that's also how I say it. So I would argue it's a British way. Um, say it again for me, schedule. 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 I'm not hearing the S for some reason. I don't know if it's your microphone, but try again. Schedule. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you very much. And now schedule. Schedule. Good, okay, well done. You can do both room to play, but again, everyone can pick what they want to do. Um, schedule. Ilya said schedule. Schedule, schedule. Go on, Ilya, show us. <laughs> Again? Schedule. Schedule. One more time? Yeah. Schedule. It's interesting. Do you know, it's, it's one of those ones that I think people say differently, like issue or issue. People say issue on the news, but I have also seen new an news anchors in, the in, in, the England, in England say um, issue. And I've always said issue, like tissue. But I remember at secondary school, someone said issue. And I was like, why are you saying issue? That sounds really I, like... I, I've heard issue in the the Crown Netflix TV series. Issue. Issue. Yeah. In the Crown, they like always old say school issue. pronunciation. Exactly. I, I think so. And if you have gone into Cambridge or Oxford, you might say yeah. issue. I'm a yeah. working class Essex girl. I've never said issue in my life. <laughs> it's always issue. And if anyone did say issue, I thought they were a bit of a dickhead, to be honest with you. <laughs> dare I say it. it's true um oh Deanna's whipping out the the phonetics yes so yeah the schedule sometimes people say schedule as well they will actually honor the dual rather than jewel but I'm kind of coaching you to say jewel because I think most people do that um good anyway happy to play with that bit Terry okay. excellent just one more thing weeks eeks I want the weeks please past few weeks few weeks Few weeks. Few weeks. Yeah, good. It became wicks, I think, almost. Um, I've been, let's just go from I've been running on a tight schedule for the past few weeks. I've been running on a tight schedule for the past few weeks. Yeah, good. Better. We weeks. We Try it again for me, the whole thing, and make sure we've got I've, not of. I've been running. I've been running on a tight schedule for the past few weeks. Yeah, good. Well done. Better. Um, yeah, fine for me. Just make sure it is weeks and we've got that in there, but you did it. Weeks. Yeah, weeks. Um, few. 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 And be careful, few. <laughs> Nitpicking some more. Few. 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 We don't want to make it too yewy. It's too sticky. Few. 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 <laughs> sticky. <laughs> For you, for you. Yeah, we kind of slide over that yod a bit quicker. Few, we throw it away more. Few, few. Few. Yeah, few. Few. Good, better. Any questions? No issues. <laughs> oh, you're one of those, are you? <laughs> no issues. No, I'm kidding. Ha, do it however you like. <laughs> uh, Inga Usotseva, please. <laughs> issues mm, uh, I appreciate everyone being here this afternoon and I'm looking forward to sharing the details with you well done I appreciate can we make sure we break that up so it's not appreciate I appreciate I appreciate again I appreciate Better. Well done. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing the future. Say it all again for me. I appreciate everyone being here this afternoon and I'm looking forward to hear, uh, to sharing the details with you. 
Yeah, good. Better when you corrected yourself. You said to sharing initially, but then you went to sharing. And again, using that schwa, I think is good there to sharing the information. Yeah. Um, being, being. Being, being. Good. And try and make sure it is an NG on that one. Being here. Being, being here. Being here. Doesn't, doesn't sound like nozzle and no try and get more of the yod be yeah yeah being here being here yeah good being do you here. when you say the ing do you feel like you're doing an ng back here or do you feel like you're saying n for no november no. Mm, it's like i'm doing it not like normal n at, at least i'm trying to to make it a bit nasal how to yeah. say n n n not sure this this mm -hmm. correct way now yeah yeah, yeah. no you, again we do say being being like an end sometimes but for being here um being here i kind of want you to get that precision a little bit more and just be careful it doesn't come being i think because you're sending it straight up to become more nasal actually it's kind of a nasal sound but it's a bit shorter and less nasal being being there's a release there mm, mm. The back mm. of the tongue bounces up to make the sound being mm, and then releases. Do you see what I'm saying and what I'm what I'm doing? Yeah. So can you I try? <laughs> can you try getting more of a bounce in there? So when we get to the ng sound, it's just a quick lift of the back of the tongue to make that mm, but then we release it still. Mm, mm. Okay. Bean. 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 Well done, well done. And now we just need to make sure we get the being, ying in there. So let's just say ying, um, like <clears throat> ying. Ying, ying. Ying, 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 ying. So let's do that three times. Ying, ying, ying. Ying, ying, ying. Good. So what I'm doing is I'm giving myself a little bit more of a, almost a ying, ying, ying. And you're not giving me that just yet. You're giving me a ying, 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 and you're keeping the tip of the, the, the back of the tongue high. Can we try and, I, I give you permission to just give me more of a g at the end of it. So just watch what I'm doing. And this this is my tongue, okay? Um, and I'm lifting up to the, the top of the, I'll use this as the top of my mouth. This is my tongue, okay? So I'm going ying, 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 and I'm adding a g in there, yeah? So can you just do that for me? Yeah. Ying, ying, ying. Excellent. And now let's soften off of that g and make it less g because we don't need to do that, but we still want it in there and that it to be on voice just that little bit longer as we release into it. Ying, ying, ying. Ying, ying, ying. Excellent. Really, really good. Well done. Now we need to add the B in the beginning of that. So you've just done ying, which is the sound I need in B ying, but now we need the B. Okay. So let's really concentrate and just do it once. B ying. Break it right up. B ying. Good. B Slow it down again ying. for me. Slow it down. Don't rush ahead. I know you're excited. Slow down. B ying. B ying. Good. Well done. B ying. Now we can speed it up. Being. <laughs> Much better. Well done. Being. Being. Close. <laughs> Break yeah, it up again. I'm, I'm trying, like, it, there is a little, like, schwa or a uh sound in the end of this word. Is it there? That's what I want you to do and practice a little bit more for me, just so I can hear you releasing it. And we're not just going being, ying. We don't stay on the mm, and that's what I'm hearing. And it makes, I think it's making you flatten the whole word and go bing, bing. No, be ying, ying. And I want you to practice getting that back of your tongue, getting used to bouncing around. Um, there's an exercise you can do, and this is useful for everybody who's still here. Well done for sticking by everyone. Um, where you just simply on a ya, like a yo-yo, but a ya, 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 we just go ki, ya, 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 ya. So can you try that for me? Ki, ya, 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 ya. Ki, ya, 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 ya. Yai, like yasai. Have you ever had a yasai katsu curry at Worker Mamas before? No, maybe not. No, okay. Yai, yai, yai. Can you do that? Yai. Yai. Yeah, that sound is what I want more of. 
Yai, 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 yai. Yai, 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 yai. Is yes. it talking about intonation? It goes down in there. I don't need to worry about int Oh, well, in terms of that exercise, yeah, I'm making you go ki, yai, 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 yai. Yai, 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 yai. I want you to practice that with that intonation for now, mm -hmm. um, just to get the pitch changing as you're doing it so you don't get stuck on yai, 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 yai. But the main thing I want you to practice is thinking bouncy back of tongue, bouncy back of tongue. It has to rise to get to the yeah, 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 yeah. But we have to let it keep bouncing around to make the yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just going to loosen up the back of the tongue, basically, is what I want you to practice. Does that make sense? Yeah, I get it now. Yeah. So yeah. Let's just try. Ki ya 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 ya. Ki ya 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 ya. Good, good, good. And yeah. because you're trying this new thing, this new weird exercise, it does feel quite labored at the moment. But can you see how, like, if you listen to mine, ki -ay 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 -ay. can you see how, like, quickly we can get it flopping around? <laughs> I want you to kind of work on getting it to that level of looseness, yeah? Um, whereas at the moment, it's ki -ay -ay -ay. we're really having to try and think of what we're doing, which is good. That's the first step. But really practice trying to, like, find the the flowy bounciness with it for me make sense yeah thanks a lot yeah I will Excellent. try you're welcome you're welcome lovely um Ilya did you have a question I have a quick question so yeah, go on. the problem is that when uh, Inga pronounced P in she like continues the in sound there yeah? well I think as well we're not differentiating from the B and the ing so there's mm. E and I B ying ying so we need to like Finish the sound. The sound is in the slight good sound. It can be, but I was just trying to get Inga to do that to highlight the the release. So when mm -hmm. we add more of a harsh g g g, we can feel more of that release. The soft g, like g, soft sound. Yeah, yeah. Being, being. 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 So we're actually, we do release the NG sound and we can't, some people in British and a British accent would say being, being, it's quite a Scottish thing actually, I think, or maybe another accent, Welsh, being, I don't know. Anyway, sometimes people would do that, um, but we kind of release that mm, without voice. But what I was trying to get Inga to do was do mm. it with voice so she could hear it more and oh, feel okay. it more, being, mm -hmm. being. But now the next step would be to remove the g, and just let it release off voice, being, being, being. I mean, you just need to stop the producing the sound. Yeah, the vocal folds need to stop okay. connecting, but the shape still needs to be made. So it's sometimes it's easier to do it on voice. Like when we did the the butter thing earlier in the warm up, I did it voiced first because we can all hear it easier, and then we can do the voiceless version. Yeah. So um, yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Thank it you. Was, yeah, so so Inga, just coming back to you, just try and avoid it being bing, bing, being, being. There's two syllables in there, okay? So just make sure you keep drilling that. But other than that, really good. Any questions, Inga? No, no, clear. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Was there anyone else who needed to go um, and do a, a sentence? I don't think so. Oh, Lilo said bye. I'm just checking the comments. Has anyone else needed to go? Lulia, have you been? You've got your hands full, though, haven't you? <laughs> no, <laughs> I will try, but I know because someone is arrived here. <laughs> go on, go on, have a quick go. And then we'll wrap okay, up. we'll need the presentation ready by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Is Yay. that doable? Good, well done, well done. Um, mm, 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 we'll need, can we make sure we're not skimming over it too buttery now? I want a bit more definition with all the consonants we'll need the presentation let's make you a bit sterner and a bit more of an angry boss at this point we'll need the presentation ready by 5 p.m can you spell it out for me a bit clearer we'll need the presentation ready by 5 p.m tomorrow is yeah. that doable yeah. well done is that doable is that similar to what i was giving Ilya actually a little bit I want you to try and think about the sound filling your mouth rather than it all coming over here. We'll need it over here by this time. We'll need the presentation. I do this with my thumbs a bit, but maybe yeah. thinking more like around and enjoying the resonance of each word in your head a little bit more. We'll need. We'll need. 
Yeah. And presentation ready by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. Is you... that doable? Good. Is that doable? Is that doable? Not that, 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 that. Yes, that's better. Well done. Really, really good. There was so much more richness already when you said ready. You were letting the sound kind of resonate in your mouth a little bit more. So it was really, really good. Really well done. Um, so yeah, think, try and not to just keep it all in the lips, keep it in the mouth and enjoy spitting it out a little bit more, I'd say. Um, any questions? No, okay. That's very Thank great you. One. Um, but really, really good. Much better. Um, guys, lovely work. Well done. We overran slightly again, as usual. Um, but also... <laughs> I think what helps is if we all get on the call, bang on time, I know how many people I've got. So I've got, when we started today, I think we started maybe six people, but then actually more people came on. So I thought I had more time. So I took more time in the beginning, but we don't have that time. So do try and get on for me, bang on time. It does help me figure out how much time to spend with each people as we're going around. Um, but you've all done amazingly well. Well done those of you who stuck around till the ending. You all superstars. And I think you're all amazing and have a lovely rest of your week and I'll see you soon and keep practicing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, guys. See you soon. Bye. Bye.